sitting here actually with Shomalaya. Yeah, I'm right here. For the last four years, New York City has been my campus. Because of that, I have a lot of interesting stories to tell. All right, so read the DM. Hey, Sean Hopewell as well. Huge, huge in caps fan. Bullshit. Never saw one thing of yours. Just <laughs> FYI. Sean is my best friend. You could make a PowerPoint presentation about why I had sex with that chick. And <laughs> I put a thousand bottles of hairspray in because a lot of the comments were like, you know the stork from Mad TV? Would you maybe want to go on a date sometime? I would love that. I hope so. Yeah. Really? No. The most actual anti-Semitic I've seen people in real life is about Lakewood. And it's like, <laughs> I don't know what's true or not, but really if you true. drive through Lakewood, you see a lot of Jewish people. So you're basically Jewish. It's a <laughs> Jewish idea. Yeah, no comment. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Mislabeled. Um, we have a very, very special guest with us today. Uh, before we get to our guest, a couple quick things. Well, really one quick thing, and that is please like, subscribe, and comment if you're watching this. Uh, like button is, in case you forgot, right to your left on the bottom. It's a little thumbs up, so you can just jam it. All right, fine. So that being said, we have a uh, awesome, awesome guest with us today. Um, we've been trying for a long time. Sack. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Well, you, you were doing great. Why you Nothing to, happened. Don't you bring spilled, the camera to me. You spilled all over yourself. Um, <laughs> that being said, we have a very, very special guest with us today. We've been trying for, for a bit <laughs> to break into the comedy world. And I, I think we may have our first lead over here. Um, we're sitting here actually with Sean Malaya. You think I'm sitting here? I'm, yeah, I'm right here. No, I'm, yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you think are. we have your? I didn't. Yeah, never mind. No, I'm here though. I'm ready. You, this is your first lead. I hope I, you had no comedians yet. We have had a couple. We've had, no, we had We've had two. two. Who? Jerry two. Nathan. No, we didn't. We. Jared Nathan and Olga Nathan. We also had a comedian who told us not to air the episode. So no way. That's the third one. For that was political third reasons. Not because we weren't funny. We had two other Political had reasons. Political Let's reasons. be clear. Stupid political reasons. I will say that very clearly. Can we know what the reason was? Because she did a label hates women. Yes. Uh, she felt that I was a misogynist. And because she could, felt What you that, said on the pod? No, after something came up after the pod, like nothing relevant to the pod at all. And she doesn't think I was naive. So I said. I like respectfully, I said, you know something? I'm going to respect what you want. And nowadays, there's no chance I ever would not have released our episode. Maybe. Right. I feel like we should tell him the story and get his take. Do you? It's up to you guys. It's your pod. My <laughs> name's Sean, by the way. I, I absolutely want to read I think it's... I think it's so I'll yeah. say the story very quickly. We had her on. We had a great pod. Awesome pod. She enjoyed it. She enjoyed every second. It was it was actually a great pod. Um, basically, what happened was like two weeks after, before we released our episode... In general, there's an organization in the Orthodox world which has emergency EMTs. It's called Atzalah, which means saviors in Hebrew. And uh, it's only men. And in the last five, ten years, um, women have wanted to join that organization. They weren't allowed to, so they started their own organization. Me and Shmuley went on a rant making fun of the pictures of the organization. And we kind of said that we happen to think that men are better at this particular job than women are. At saving the, people. Saving people and like carrying them down. <laughs> and, I see. And carrying okay. them down steps when they weigh 400 pounds. That was oh, like, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was our thing. And just like in pressure You crisis. posted this to social media, a video where you say all this. Yeah, yeah. I see. No, no, I'm not, no, I'm not saying, I'm just like curious. I'm curious. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to He's figure like, out. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have done such a thing. No, <laughs> I'm just curious. And so now she sees this clip. I'm giving you the facts. Those are the facts. Yeah, and she, she sees, sees this clip, clip and she thinks that we're basically bad people. She wants us to issue a public apology um, and some other uh, demands. And I basically told her to go jump in a lake because I don't issue public apologies for my personal opinion. For If I do something wrong, I'll issue a public apology. I don't think it was constituted that far of a, a, of a terrible act to issue a public okay. apology. So I chose that I don't want to. Either way, she said she didn't want me to hear that episode. I said, no problem. I'm not going to. That being said, nowadays, I would have heard that episode without even fucking thinking twice. Okay? Right. Because you came on the pod, you're more than welcome to say, I, did, I, I, I didn't know that this was going to happen. And when I heard it, I had no knowledge of this. At the end of the day, it right. cost me a few thousand dollars to, to, to shoot the pod. Now, what's your I, take on this I, very I, inside the Orthodox? World? I like to go the what would Judge Judy do route. You know, <laughs> I love Judge Judy, and I always try and think what she would do. Um, I mean, I could go, I could go, but like in my mind, in my empathetic brain, I'm like, oh, she sees this. She's like, I don't want to associate with them. She asked mm -hmm. you not to post it, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but I could see your point where it's like, you probably, you know, you bought her Uber to come here. You like spent mm -hmm. the time. Oh, to... we spent money on the editing also. Yeah. No, it cost a thousand dollars to shoot that bucket. Yeah. And it's very easy for her to turn around. Nobody's going to cancel her for that. It's very easy to turn around and be like, oh, it turns out I don't like these guys or whatever. I don't like that, what they stand for. 
So I, I don't know. I got to see the clip because maybe if I see the clip and you're like, women, fuck women, or like, then I'm like, oh, all right, maybe. But <laughs> the clip was bad. There's no question about that. It was horrific. Uh, really? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. It, it was humor. It was humor. Honestly, it was humor. And I, I stand by what I said then, straight up. I, I happen yeah. to think that in the particular. Imagine situation. I got up and walked out and was like, you know what? I don't trust this anymore. Yeah. Like, don't air this. I, exactly. So, I mean, listen, this was post. We had already spent the money on everything. But listen, I didn't do it. And, um, you know, I. It is what it is, and I moved on. I didn't care, and I, I held nothing against anyone after that. Whatever it so was, I thought it was a different story. That's why I wanted to bring it up. I thought the reason it happened is because there was a guy that went on to a live stream and showed his schlong. I thought that 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 whole thing Wait, in your in your live stream, not our live stream, a different this live stream. Lot. What in the world? I thought what happened was I I was mixing up timelines. I thought that you thought it was the, the other. I thought it was the other <laughs> thing that yeah. went the you and the you and flappish girl thing because the guy showed his schlong and that flappish girl thing. And then you came out and said how funny it was. And then you started going back uh, and forth. No. I thought that was why this she... Is, this is when we were in Israel and so I got it. I got it. I'm remembering. Well, either way, she thinks you're a misogynist and she doesn't <laughs> want to... Correct. Associate with me in any way. Uh, that was com comedian number one. I think that's when... But when you are a comedian, I guess you, like, you choose to do a pod. And if you don't do your research and you go through the whole thing and they pay for right. everything... You kind of oh like... My God. You can't kind of go back and say, oh, after... You know what? Like... It's up to you to do all that research up front. Oh, my God. There was another comedian that also had a problem with a clip that we posted, a second one, and I literally said that. She didn't. She wants me to pull the clip. It was going viral. Well, that's different, though. Like, let's say you edit a clip, and it's going viral. I, I, I want to hear what it is. But, like, let's say, and they don't like the way they look. Maybe they're embarrassed or something, and it's going viral for the wrong reasons. I do think a good host, you're, you're still, you know, when I got here, you're like, you want Truly? I got food. You're a good host. You still have to be a good host after they're gone. So if they're getting trashed online, I do think you owe them like, oh, if, they, if you're uncomfortable, I'll pull the clip. You think so? Well, tell me the clip. What is it? No, it was her making... It, it, listen, it was her... Um, I'm not going to go into the whole details. <laughs> We're not going into the whole thing. Yeah, whatever. The point is, I, I don't know if I even agree with that. I'm like, if you come no, on... No, that's fine. Personally, I'm just like... If you like you said, if you come onto our show, you know. Listen, we're all about content. That's our game. That's right. what we do. If you come onto our show, you got to know we're brash. We're out there. Like this is our business. Like we're not here to be PC. That's not our game. Interesting. So if you're coming on here, we're a bunch of you know. Yeah, and I guess if you're a production company, like uh, let's say it's like television or whatever, like you have no say after it's been recorded, which sucks. Like reality TV, they can edit you whatever way they want. And like The Bachelor, that shit's half scripted, but like, you know, yeah. and people like afterwards are like, wow, they made me look like shit. So that isn't the nature of the biz. Um, but personally, if I do a pod and like, let's say somebody, I, I like to be like, is this okay? Like, do you like this clip? I want everybody to feel comfortable. Right. Because also that will do me better in the long run. More people will want to come on and they're like, oh, yeah. I like it. But right. I, I, I get, I get both sides. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't. I don't know if my. To be fair, we've we've never had a single complaint other than that. We've had a lot of guests on. Yeah, like all of a sudden, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no. Jerry Nathan it's us. fun. I like I like the yeah. moral quandaries. I don't know. Whatever. I'm very much like content. If you're in this game. Well, what was the clip? I want to know what the clip was. The clip was very simple. She was basically making fun of. Uh, she was divorced and she was making fun of her ex-husband. Her ex-husband was indicted and Donald Trump let her off and he was indicted for tax fraud. And I made a joke earlier in the pod about how all Jews are guilty of tax fraud since we're Jewish. And he, she's like, oh, yeah, my my ex-husband got indicted for tax fraud and Trump let her off. Um, and apparently all her people in support of her ex-husband came flying out of the woodworks and basically said, how dare you say that about your ex-husband? Yeah. Whatever. I mean, listen. She was afraid we were going to ruin her ex-marriage. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's just the nature of it, dude. I don't know. I'm, I'm too no, also, new into this game. By the game, way, also, like, everyone has the right before the pod is released to tell us right off the bat, like, hey, is there something you want to cut right away? I'm like, is there anything you want to cut? Like, if you want to cut it, right, it's right. pre-recorded, it's not live. If you want to cut it, let us know. If you pass that timeline and now it's released and there's clips and our editors spend time on it, this and that, and it's posted... Sorry, a little bit too late. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> you you talk until like the you're like gasping for air. <laughs> it's like, you know, like there's, the, the, there's a concept genius, like a certain amount of words you have in your lifetime. I think he took it up for like the other six million that died in that game. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. She <laughs> <laughs> might be right. She might be right. Let's clip that and see. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Um Shmilly, I just love you eating ham before and like like actually inhaling the ham. Like you were like, <laughs> like you guys laughed when he did it, and then then you wow. kept talking. Just the way you ate the ham, like it just went in like a vacuum while you were talking. It was good. 
It was good. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's like a, so back, <laughs> to, back Is to, there any clip that somebody could use of you that you would be like, oh, I don't want that up? Like, you know, I don't know. Very, very I, few. I, 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 so as somebody... Very. Okay, I only say this to give the credibility to my insight. I've got, like, videos reach uh, more than 100 million views, right, of, across all the ones I've made on fucking TikTok and crap. Many times I make something and I'm like, oh, wow, the comments are receiving this in a way that I did not expect. And it's embarrassing. And sometimes, especially with podcasts, you might cut it in a way that doesn't give the full context. So I do understand if somebody, sometimes people cut shit, especially with reality TV, where they're like, let me cut it in a way that is going to make people like knee jerk. So I do understand like sometimes there is a miss. Like you, it does something you didn't think it would. And so I do understand pulling, especially TikToks, you get a minute. Or less to like. Well, what's one of what, what's one of the cases where that happened with you? Let's see. Where you had like content that you meant one way, and then it just got taken the complete. Um. Okay. I would say the I did a video where I saved the chicken from a slaughterhouse. I went to a slaughterhouse. I got. Oh, a, I immediately you're gonna get PETA people like just involved. Well, actually, it's it's a very it's it goes. I don't know. So I got the chicken. I brought it to a sanctuary. And there's a lot of people. There's so many different. But the worst thing I did in the video was I'm like, why did I do it? And I'm like, because it was hilarious. But th it's a minute long. I, I was like, this will be a funny little button on the end. But really, I'm like, I'm also, I took this vegan class in college. And I'm like, oh, I, I didn't realize being vegan. Like, there's some good points for why you should be vegan. So there's a million reasons why I was inspired to, like, save a chicken from a slaughter. I thought it'd be fun. I still right. eat meat, but I thought it'd be. And, uh. <laughs> A lot of the comments were like, can't believe he thinks it's hilarious, thought it was a good video till that. And I'm like, I just real. I kept the video up. It's got like 25 million views on YouTube. But it's like in that one minute, you get like, what, 10 sentences or less to say something about a pretty big idea. And so people are taking not even taking that specific thing out of context necessarily. But it's like, I wish I could say more. And it it it's scary when you get that many people like saying shit that. You know, and again, it's part of the biz. You got to get used to it. You got to right. let the hate also, wash do, over you. But I do understand. We live that. in a time where you could have a throw a, a throwaway sentence in a video, and people will construct that you are evil. Off yeah, of this yeah. I mean, the like uh, conspiracies can go. I mean, p like Paul McCartney Dude, is I dead. Heard he fucks is the chickens. Actually. Yeah, literally. I'm like, sure there's one thing I did in the video, but you could make a PowerPoint presentation about yeah. why I had sex with that chicken, <laughs> and it might be right. <laughs> no, well, listen, you gave that chicken the night of its life. <laughs> yeah. No, it was cool. So, but anyway, so I, you know, I'm not gonna get to the bottom of your problem, but please uh, don't. I mean, look, <laughs> but the, I appreciate you telling me. I think it's I interesting. Mean, look, at the end of the day, I, I've uh, what I have learned, and I, I've not gone 25 million views viral. But what I have learned, and I know I would stick by this if I did go 25 million views viral, because I think in the firm community I kind of did in 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 uh, proportionally with Flapper Scroll and that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah. I would stick to the idea that I know who I am, and the fact that someone wants to take a minute video and and Right. Make all these assumptions. Sorry, that's life. I'm a comedian. This is what yeah. I do. Like, if you want to, Hitler come... made a few speeches. Like, you don't <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, like, we don't know that. You taking it out of the guy behind the boots. The stash. <laughs> yeah. You don't say know. that he was an artist. You know, <laughs> he's abstract. So a few things. Read his insane. diary. Oh, he, I... oh, he put that out. He called it Mein Kampf. Oh, Mein Kampf. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on, but I feel like you guys are saying that I'm crazy right now. I'm not crazy, and I stand by that. I um, actually for once was not calling you crazy. crazy. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm crazy. I, I'm no, I'm being serious. Like at the end of the day, like you know, you're making a joke. You're gonna have a bunch of honestly pansies that are gonna sit there and scream, "Oh my God, how can you do such a thing?" No, you're making a joke. You know yeah. that. And if you look at all the big comics, they're doing the same shit. You right. know what I'm saying? But they they so, have such clout that no one that they're dr all those people are just drowned Louis out. CK just couldn't find a toilet. Exactly. Yeah, he needed to get to. Yeah. <laughs> like, can we just say like it's for older people? It's hard to get from the bed from the bed to the toilet. They don't have just, the context exactly. they need to understand. Yeah, I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, hold on a second. We gotta we gotta start off with some basics over here. I feel like we're rolling on jokes. Where are you from? Can you uh, start with that. New Jersey, Brick, New Jersey. Brick. Yeah, it's like close to yeah. Point Pleasant. Or right next to Lakewood. Yes, Yeah, it is. there you go. It's on 89. Wait, do you know Lakewood? Okay, yeah. why do you know Lakewood? Lakewood's a massive Jewish community. Okay, yeah, it's like all Hasidic Jews in Lakewood, yeah. You didn't know that? No, I knew that. He, he did. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. like, that's like, like yeah. Brick, it's literally the, right there. That's like the what Lakewood is known as. Yeah. Honest question, like what do the people of Lake Brick think about living? It is such an interesting question. Honest, to, yeah. No, no, dude, I, like it's a very interesting question because... Uh, I feel like uh, the most actual anti-Semitic I've seen people in real life is about Lakewood 
and they're like, no, I don't care what you are. But like, what the hell? They, I don't know. That they, they, right? They get people get heated about, about Lakewood. Lakewood. Yes. Explain what are they heated about? Could you go into that? Um. So I guess what they kind of so spit Lakewood in general is like it's all like it's Hasidic people. It's like a, the Hasidic town, and I guess what people say is they live like many families to one house. They like. I guess they came to my neighborhood recently and they were asking about like uh, buying a house and they're like everybody gets nervous when somebody from Lakewood's going to buy a house because <laughs> they they buy the whole block they bring the property value down they bring a thousand children into yeah one yeah and then um, I would argue one thing they bring the property value up not down but really yes. I don't know I don't know but like yeah. so because when one blo- when one house goes with a block the rest of the block will somehow go and then it's like. <laughs> I, yeah, that's what it is, and uh, that's what they say. I don't know. I don't know what's true or not. But it's true. if it's you true. drive through it's Lakewood, true. you see a lot of it's Jewish true. people. It's, true. It's, like, it's, it's like a spider web. And it's just, and it's I don't know. It's interesting because there's like I know like like Shuey, who's like Orthodox Jewish, and then yeah. there's like the Hasidic level Jewish, which you also get in Brooklyn. There's like uh, yeah, they, like there's like Lakewood style communities within Brooklyn too, but. Uh, I don't know. Like, it's always interesting to drive through those places and stuff. It's never, like, personally affected me in any way. But There's people that own there. houses, I guess, are very afraid of it. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. If you own a house, then you're afraid of Jewish oh, communities. Oh, so it'll never affect us. It's great. Yeah, yeah it's I, great. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, like, like I, all you need to be is owning a house and that you are scared. You see him in Costco on Sundays. That's <laughs> that's a great yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Like, I didn't hate Jews until I owned a house. Because <laughs> until you own a house, you work for the Jews. And then once you own a house, you're like, I'm independent of the Jews. And I don't want the Jews. It's similar to, like, Amish people, I feel like similar like uh like when you drive through an amish community and it's just like they're to themselves you know it's like which is also amish is like the christian hasidic i feel like it is yeah basically so. except that there aren't a lot of amish landlords although you know it's interesting i'm just thinking this now i feel like houses. i'd be curious to see if amish or communities neighborhoods around amish towns if they dislike the amish the way people in my town dislike the hasidic which is interesting right they might, they might. I mean, their Jews do seem to have like a special sauce for hatred. Like people <laughs> right, seem to right, really right. enjoy it. But it's also interesting because okay, so it's definitely from someone from your vantage point. You probably look at Hasidic Jews and you're like, yeah, Amish. Like though, those are the Jews, Amish. But like what people, I think what people would be surprised to find out, and I think they might be because of all these television shows coming out on Netflix, is how many Hasidic Jews are like way more involved in the in the like regular world than like the, Am- the Amish still don't have cell phones. The, but Hass- then there's like the Amish Hassan that have like four cell phones and like they're watching Netflix on one and buying buildings with the other. Right. Like Interest- they're very involved. Yeah, I, I remember I went to. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if he was Hasidic, but I went to like a, see a, an apartment that I actually ended up living in. But it, the guy that let us in, it was like this Jewish super Hasidic or super religious. I don't know how to tell. Like, I mean, he he looked. Did he have like, these things coming out of the ears? I think he did. Yeah. Those so that would pay out. Yeah. So yeah, that would Hasidic. be Hasidic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the little kids in Costco, they have that too. It's a yeah. Yeah. And I love looking at little, like those kids because I'm like. Shaved heads. Uh, yeah, like but the, they have this. They have and then, Like they on. just like, you know, somebody told them this is what we do. I could have a kid and be like, yeah, we all, we <laughs> are all are named Meat Morp and we wear, and you know, and we wear these clothes. And then he'd be like, okay. <laughs> so it's interesting to see. Like an idiot. He'd yeah. just be like, I'll name Meat Morp. <laughs> yeah. You're Meat Morp, I'm Meat Morp, and we all wear, you know, Honestly, plastic I love, hats. Honestly, I all respect that I see <laughs> and he'd be like, okay, you know, and so that's interesting. But. I only get upset at Hasidim when I when I go to like in the summer, you go to like uh like an amusement park where they'll be like in upstate New York or something. Uh like on Passover, like you we all the Jews go to like the, the amusement parks, six flags like co- covered with Hasidim. They got the Hasidic kids, your kid, they're wearing vests, like wool vests. Yeah, and it's in, hot like, out. 90 degree yeah, weather. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not even being anti Semitic here, like as like Call Child Protective Services. Get the vest off the kids. Let them just... They're already um, wearing bunned up shirts. And I get... Yeah, it's just like... I don't know. It's like their sunscreen where they're like, you know, this is what we do. We have to do this. And But what if, they, what if they're right? You never know, right? I Like, but if we get hey. to heaven or whatever and they're like... Where was your vest? Yeah, where was your... Where was your little guy? Yeah, where you didn't have that. So you gotta... I don't know. Yeah. But... You can start growing them now. This? Oh, yeah. What, it's just the sideburn? 
They're like they're called side curls, but yeah, you just don't Sideburn. cut your sideburns forever and then like let him go. I wonder if there's a way to culture appropriate that where you make that cool. Like it's like the the new I hip. can guarantee you if you did grow them, not not a single religious Jew would be like, "Hey, cultural appropriation." They'd just be like, "Okay, man, sure." Yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> good to know. Like, Shit. We converted one. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. No, we're not very focused on cultural appropriation. That's not like our thing. We're more worried about people killing us. Like we're mm. way less interesting. Worried about we have more things to focus on. It's like the cops in Harlem versus the cops here. Like they're busy getting us speeding tickets here in Harlem. They're like war. I don't know what. Maybe Harlem changed a little bit. Harlem changed a but, lot. <laughs> right. But okay, but Chicago maybe. Like we could go to they're more worried about someone blowing their brains out. So right. they're like just a little more focused on different things. Interesting. You know? So you grew up in Jersey. I'm assuming Christian, some sort. Yeah, I, went, I mean I went to CCD and stuff, but uh And do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior to this day? Um, damn. You know, they damn. say they say in the Bible, like, don't deny me to your friends. It doesn't say anything about denying them on the pod though. Hey. Nothing about a pod on there. We've no. been trying to get Jesus to his people will not. Yeah, you, you yeah. gotta keep trying, I think. Uh i what do I feel? I don't really I'm I'm agnostic, I guess. I don't know what the answer is. Uh that I met a pastor recently at my the church my mom brought me to. It, it, all my life, church was boring, but I met this guy, the new pastor at our church. He uh, like was like a great public speaker and like had a lunch, bunch of interesting shit to say. And I met him afterwards, and he loves comedy. He's got tattoos, and he's like, yeah. oh, he's one of the okay, yeah, like super, like I'm like, what the hell? Like, Jews this- haven't gone to this yet. We haven't yet done okay. the like cool tatted up like hipster. And he's Rabbi. like knowledgeable yeah. about like he's got like a doctorate of like religion or whatever oh, something like that you know and so there's people like people like that do make me like wonder and I'm like oh maybe and but uh, do I actively go and believe any which way not really is no. he like dropping like like Kendrick Lamar lyrics into his like sermons like no not that not to not that, that extent <laughs> he's just like. Uh, He's just like a good storyteller and like he commands a room really well and he's young and stuff like that. Do you think that there are any like dudes out there in the world right now who failed at stand up comedy, but they became kind of religious and they're like, okay, well, I can still get my jokes out this way and they become pastors? Maybe. So the reason I thought that he was cool, especially, was he was like, yeah, like one of the my favorite comedians is Sam Kinison, who started out as a preacher or a pastor or something. He'd spoken churches. And then Damn. became a comedian. So uh, the reverse has happened and become famous from it. But the uh, I don't know if if the I'm sure the other one has happened. Yeah, but interesting. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> What's up with you guys? <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> you guys, do you believe in God or what? Can I can I ask that or? Yeah, it goes. Yeah. I think, sure I think we that. do. He just really wants to say it depends on the day. Yeah, I was gonna say it depends, depends on the day. On the day. Yeah. Depends, yeah. It depends how shitty the day is. Okay. And then it's like you either look up and like there can't be a god, or you look up and be like he's the only thing that could save me from this day. Right. Yeah. Um, I think we should go one on one individual answers. What do you think? I think there's a ninety percent chance. Okay. <laughs> I think there's a ten percent chance that like chance. that like like Homer Simpson's up there. Okay. But that's still something. There's an up yeah. there in that scenario. Do you, do you, every time you watch porn, are you just like juggling like, it's the 10%. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You're willing to break the rules for that. Um, well, what, so what is the, the, the 10%? There's there's something in your in your 10%. There's nothing. There's not nothing. It's got to be Homer Simpson. It's actually Homer. Yeah, I mean, I don't I know exactly. I would be mad if it was Homer Simpson. I wouldn't be mad if it was Homer Simpson either. And it would That'd make so cool. much sense that the world makes no sense. Okay. <laughs> He's just running the world. I I think God is a Taylor Swift fan. I know that much. You think so? No, right. I really don't. <laughs> okay. You think he doesn't like Taylor Swift? I think I think I think God listens to Come Town. <laughs> it is Matthew. Matthew yeah. Matthew. Who is Come Town again? We were just talking about this. Come Town was the podcast that Stuff? turned into the Adam Friedler podcast, which was the podcast that Matt Healy went on, which is the podcast that got Taylor Swift in trouble. You're being way too complicated. Too referential. Me. You said you told me about this podcast oh, today. I didn't know that Taylor Swift had any connection to Come Town. The fact that she does is the funniest <laughs> I thing don't on know earth. The, I don't know what Come Town is. You gotta keep on saying. It's like the most like niche, but also not niche I mean, podcast. It was like the top 10 podcast. For yeah, me. but like you still need to be a, well, you need to be a podcast fan or a, comedi- a comedy fan to know it. Was it. Three, which makes sense. 
sense for Zach because Zach yeah, knows yeah. all these things. Yeah, and assumes yeah. that Everyone so knows Stavi, all these things. Stavi, who we That's... we just shot our shot with to get yes, on the pod. I spoke to his brother today. Yes. Yeah. Somehow, by the way, this dude. I love can dry. Get, I love you. I have no idea how the hell he has. It's cool that you do brother. real estate because they say that's all about connections you and like know. it seems like you're good at. I mean, yes and no. I spoke to, actually to Kirk Cousins, who wasn't willing to come on. I you tr- spoke to Kirk Cousins. Yes, a hundred percent. He just drops these random guys. I did. You, I you promise. You, you like sports? Um, I don't watch sports. Oh, okay, okay. So. I did. I spoke to him. Yeah, hundred percent. And he's like, "It'd be good to have this guy." Oh, I like, actually yes. spoke. To, I spoke to Garrett Cole today also, but he hung up on me after thirty seconds. Motherfucker. How did you get him on the phone? I don't know who it is, but I've I just know Garrett Cole is the number one pitcher on the Yankees. Oh, that's it. Okay, so what? How did you get him on the phone? Yeah, I, how? What, what is your fucking move? Dude? I've been hammering him for how'd a solid week. How do you get Stav's week? brother? How do you get a world Kirk famous Cousins. comedian's brother? I'll explain. I've been speaking to Stav's father for the last how few days. That doesn't give us any more. <laughs> that's just. Were you guys going to Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> <laughs> it's literally gonna be Stavi like posting pictures from his family dinner. Label just there. <laughs> I mean, I do understand. You can find the people. Facts, I promise you. You can ask the person who works with me. I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> telling you. Cousins. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Kirk's so what do you do? Guy, you go to like, oh, they posted this, and oh wow, he tagged his sister, and then his sister posts the dad. So I'll mess, I'll DM the dad. It's not how it goes. I'm being honest. It's not how it goes. But there's different ways. Well, how you're being, I, you're being shady right now. I'm not being shady. Are, I'm just not talking about how I get in contact with all these people. I am not being forthcoming. That is 100 percent correct. But well, I did speak to Stav's dad, and then he gave me Stav's number, but Stav's number is not working right now, the one, his real number. So he said, please call my other son, George. And he said, have George <laughs> get you in touch with Stav. We up. should have on. So what the brother say? Go look up George's, at, go find out, is, is George Stav's brother? I promise you, you're going to see that it's George. No, I believe you, but I'm we saying, like, you. what did he say? We'll try and get Stav, or? No, he didn't pick up. I called him today for the first time. Called him twice. He didn't pick up. We should voice, get Stav and his brother and his, I would love to meet what did Stav's Garrett, dad. <laughs> what did Garrett Cole say to you? Kirk, what? What did Garrett Cole say to you? He was a douche. Up? He was a total douche. What did he say? How'd you He's get like, his number? So first I called him on one number. Then <laughs> <laughs> we just brought on on the pod and he's We're just interviewing like... you now. <laughs> Okay, well, so say what you were going to say, but I also want to know how you got his number. So first, I called. Uh, so I called Garrett. Um, I've been calling him for a week straight. Doesn't pick up. Mother effort doesn't pick up. Um, and finally, he picks up today. Actually, calls me back today. And I, I was speaking to him for twenty five seconds, maybe, like giving the quick pitch. Hey, started podcast seven months ago. I have had on a lot of famous people already. Blah blah blah. Huge fan. Really want to have you. I was probably at the huge fan part and just be. Hung up. Oh, he actually hung up on you? Yeah, hung up. Clean hang up. He said, oh, he no, thank you, say. hung up. But this is a guy who's podcast. currently a big deal on the Yankees. He's the ace of the Yankees. Yeah, he's, he's, we're, he's, so he's busy, yeah, yeah, busy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, how'd yeah, you get yeah. his number? Also, so don't don't tell people. Up and saying, no, thank you. You both did that. Don't tell people. Uh, don't say, oh, we've been doing it seven months. as our passion product. Don't say that. Just say, uh, in my opinion, at least. Okay. Because... Then it, it makes it sound like it's a charitable thing they're doing oh, for you. You want it to sound like you're providing them value. No, so for sure. We've been in, I am. I've had a lot of famous people already. I've been doing this only seven months. No, well, well, the DM I got that. was like, we're, and you said we're doing the seven months, or we've been doing it seven months. And the, the DM I got was like, it's our passion project. We're doing seven months. Whatever. And let me, I, I let didn't, me read uh, you off the DM. Let me read off the DM for the people that want to know. Hold on one second. Yeah. Because, uh, I, no, I hear what you're saying. You're saying, like, you should just come in from, like, this is what we can do for you. And, like, yeah, because the, little... he hears the seven months thing. He's like, oh, this isn't. Whereas if you were, like, we're CNN or we're fucking, or, you know. But then he has to look at our Instagram followers and he sees we have 11,000 followers and two and a half thousand. But he's right. not going to get that far. You're, you're, you're huh? making him have to look. You're making him have to research. You should come at him with, like, you better do our pod because 10 years from now or one year from now, we're going to be the biggest fucking thing. Yeah, no, ever. they know that. They're not, trust me, I say that part too. With you, let me just read what I wrote to you. Hold on one second. Hold on Wait, one second. I think we should be even more like submissive when we did. We should be like, hey, like, it's me and my two friends all have really low self esteem. Like, we really need you to come on. Oh, well, like, you want to even be less. You want to be like, uh, want to do our pod? We got a, you know, limited space next week or something. Maybe not that. But like, the more like it seems like, oh, if I don't say yes now, I can't do there's it. There's two angles to getting people I, on. I like, I, One is, I agree. There's two different angles. One is commanding and coming right at them, like you're saying, and the other is practically they're gonna find out in three minutes who you are. Okay. Just press hang up on you. It's very nice that you want to be all cute and be like, "Oh, we need you." They're gonna do one second of research and be like, "These guys are nobodies," right? Right. In that world, you have to come across from a different place, in my personal opinion. I see. And come across from the position of, "Look, 
You hustled your whole life to get to where you are to be the ace of the Yankees. You know what that stress is for 15 years Hitting to gun at it. Emotionally hurts. Right? Correct. Exactly. That makes sense. And and I it didn't am work, in the middle of the same it, exact it's worked. It's, it's worked. No, it's worked. It's worked in the past. It's worked yeah, in the past. Of course. Getting labeled right where it hurts. It didn't work. It worked no, 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 Sorry, no, I didn't mean to sound like label. a dick or anything. No, I, think, no, no, no. I think what we're saying is that we doubt your ability to deliver. That's all. I well, it. I guess <laughs> there's two. Because in my, when you DM I got me, you on here. all I did, well, I saw when you do our pod. Here's what <laughs> I did. <laughs> all I can say is what I did. Will you do our pod? Barely. I, I skim. Will you do our pod? Scroll followers 11k. I oh, had Trump on or whatever. I'm like, this is sick. Yeah, I'm like that. That's awesome. And then I, on the way here, I'm like doing the research. Like, all right, what is the pod? You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which again, yeah. I did the what that yeah. chick did to you, which is like didn't do a research and then turned around and was like, he's a misogynist, right? Which I, I'm, I'm not. You know, I don't. I'm not saying that. You can now, call me. Really, you're he's like, not, I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. But, um, but yeah, but I, I guess I, I don't know. It, my approach would be the. Uh, don't say the seven month thing, but I get why you would There's do that some, too. You say different. No, the seven month thing is just a simpler way of explaining that we've been kicking ass and starting this only seven months ago. That, that, right. that's the truth. That makes sense. That makes that's sense. The truth. Those are the but I hear what you mean about this not saying passion project because then it, it sounds I like I never said like, passion project. When the hell did oh. I ever say? No, passion I think just saying we just started seven months ago. In your mind, it's look how much we've grown already. But if I'm the asshole baseball player, it's I'm going to be short. like seven months. Fuck off. You're right. not like well, ET right. wants me. I hear that. I think you should mention that we have a cool guitar on the wall. That I think especially, day. and think our heads. Gonna, maybe print out his head. Be like, <laughs> we got your head. And then, yeah. I'm still after Andrew Schultz. I spoke to him too. I'm saying I'm hammering. I'm hammering. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, no so read the DM. Sorry. I, I oh, keep... your DM. Okay, fine. Um, let's read your DM. Uh, hey, Sean Hopewell as well. Huge, huge in caps fan. Bullshit. Never saw one thing of yours. Just FYI. <laughs> I figured. How can one? And now it gets better. How can one not be? My friends and I started podcast seven months ago and have been making some real deal progress. We've already had on some very, very notable names and starting and we'd love to add you to that list. Was wondering if you'd be open to it. Would make our day as we keep pushing on this journey as a side point. I, didn't read I have any of no this. doubt you'll fucking love us. Thanks so much, brother. Response, I'm down for exclamation points. I was very fast as far as I'm well, concerned. Well, because I'm a comedian that's still not made it. I'm hungry and I'm willing to do pods for content. People will have me. It's fun. I love uh, it. Yeah, but uh the huge fan. I think I sniffed out. I'm like, I don't know how big. I'm like, I feel like they don't. They don't even follow me. So it's like, <laughs> I was just like, I'm gonna come get the content. You know, I'm gonna do the content. It's fun. But well, hold on. We don't follow anyone. You you know the game. We don't follow anyone. We follow the people that have been on this pod. Ah, uh, okay. No, we follow also a bunch of random pods. Maybe some random pods yeah. like like the Sal Volcano Taste Pod. Like all these random yeah. ass pods just to see the content they're doing. Well, so for the aspiring potters that are seven months behind you, have yet to start. How do they get on the phone with the guy that hung up on you? We got lucky that we've interviewed a couple people who liked us and had have friends in very high places. And we're like, yeah, I'll put in the good word. Oh, that's cool. Of course. Yeah, I mean, that's that, the that real happens. way you get it. Like, you're going to be talking to Gary Vaynerchuk after this pod and telling him, hey, those guys have been emailing you. And I know <laughs> yeah, them and they're yeah. fucking awesome. And he's going to be like, oh, Label? I've been going back and forth with them on VA email. You're and right. You look really have... chill next to Label, so you should come yeah. on. Right, right. Sure, there you okay. go. Done. <laughs> um, that's the basic move. So that's that's been my move. I yeah, I honestly I just hustle. That's it. There's no other way to do this. Well, let's talk about you. Okay, first of all, if we're going to talk about moves, if we're going to talk about hustle, we're going to talk about moves. It's not like you are don't know about the hustle and the move because two of your most biggest videos were you in a very might I say Jewish way. Like very, sure. Like, <laughs> I can say it. Where you uh you basically hustled a bunch of famous people to get content out of them without them realizing it. Sure, sure. Oh, at Rolling Loud, the one? Okay, yeah. For those who don't know, you made a, a rap video, which is on, like, is it on Spotify? I saw it's on YouTube, but is it on, like... Uh, it's not on Spotify. I think okay. it, it would be illegal if I did Spotify. Okay, fair. But it's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You went around... Well, t talk to us about the video and, like, where that idea came from and, like, yeah, where's that hustle come Okay, from? so the video was I was at Rolling Loud, uh, which is a big... Of concert with a bunch of rappers and i interviewed a bunch of the rappers and i was like um i you know i, I try writing raps and i would want to know like how they sound when a real rapper reads them or says them um so could you just rap the bar i wrote and let's see what it sounds like when a real rapper says it and uh and then they all did it and then i just put them afterwards i made them all read a different bar and i put them on one song i like warp their voices to be on one beat and so I could like feature on all of this. So you, know. you have like Kevin Gates and a bunch of other yeah, like, like seventeen names. rappers on one song. And the hope was that I would rap on it, but I tried for like four days, and I'm like, 
I just can't get anything that doesn't <laughs> sound so correct. I was like, in my mind, I'm thinking of the comments. I'm like, all the comments are going to be like, wait, but why is it hard, though? Like, why was he? S but it just sounded so bad. Like, I would have got so roasted. <laughs> but anyway, that, yeah. So I, like, stole their voices to get them all on one song. Um, <laughs> but, like. That's a fucking genius idea. Thanks. That, it was just, so at my old job, I got to, like, go to cool events, and I get to interview people for our brand. And so I'm in the press area. I get a press pass to go to Rolling Loud. And I literally That's was like, I don't ass. fucking, I went the last year, and I'm like, I don't know what to do this year. And I like, I thought of that idea randomly. And I was like, what if I did this? And my, the guy that gets me the press pass, he was like, That's funny. And I was like, I'll try and do that. And I almost didn't even finish it because I'm like, the song, making the song was hard. And like, but yeah, it was fun. It was cool. So but that was just having a job and th that got me the press pass. Okay, I thought you like hustled something, but you just had a job that got you the. Yeah, and they were like, you got to do some content there. And I'm like, what if I like stole their voice? Because a lot, my mind always goes when I get a celebrity, it's like, how can I like gain something from them in a funny way that doesn't hurt them, but is still like, oh, I. Like, I use their fame to benefit myself. I always think that's humorous, so I like did that. Yeah. How can I take advantage of this person? Yeah, exactly. But in a way that doesn't hurt them. I, so I thought, you're basically Jewish. Uh, um, that is a very... It's a Jewish idea. <laughs> yeah, no comment. No comment. <laughs> well, it's literally the little Dicky music video of, like, using, like, you know, save that money. Like, What does he do? Oh, oh wait, he does... save that money. So uh, I only some... know of that because I wanted to make a music video, or I was trying to figure out a rap, and somebody was like, you should check out Little Dicky's Save That Money. Yeah. And he, like, films and Genius people's... idea. He, really he good. He used T-Pain's music video to make a music video. He just, like, asked T-Pain, like, can I use... You're already set up shop. Like, let me just come in and shoot a few scenes with all the extras and dancers and girls that, and cars that you have. He got oh. that. He asked a multimillionaire to if he could borrow their house that's for a the, few that's minutes. That's the part I saw. I guess I yeah, didn't watch so the Yeah, so he made thing. the video for the only had to pay the camera guy. Right. Yeah, now that's... He's that's, 100 million I, hits. And it's like nobody was really hurt by... He also asked them up front in his situation. I kind of like... But at the same time, mine didn't hurt them because they just read... It was an interview. It's like, oh, can you read this? And I put them on... Nobody thinks, oh, this is really... Their song. You Maybe know, if so. you had rapped on it, you would have heard that. Maybe, yeah. If yeah. I, but, uh, dude, I tried. I tried for like four days. I have like so many audio files. where I'm there, like, That's I, like a certain pain in a man's life when he tries to rap and realizes that he really can't. That's a real pain. <sighs> I know. I know that you actually sucked. <clears throat> I feel like it's comedy, like getting on there and just bombing. Yeah, you just got to suck for a little while to be good at it. You is know? that what it is? I think so, yeah. I, mean, I maybe... still think I could do a great comedy set. She really laughs at me. You should try, dude. You should try. You guys should both. You should try I'm too. I'm telling you that I would love to go because, regardless, it would be hilarious. Yeah, for I'm me. sure. I'm sure. I, I think you'd do well. I think you, you do, try. right? Yeah, I there think so. There you go. Fuck oh, you. Oh, okay. The guy that came I'm out sure, of the but right now, like it's... anybody else, I'm sure you'd bomb, you know, up front. Like, uh, you'd have your bombs as much as anybody else. I think I'd be excellent off the bat. Um, I, I think oh, yeah, you're, you're one, of the no, yeah. one of the most natural funny hear person I've ever met in my entire hear life. Hear me out, hear me out. If I came in prepared, all I will say, Shmuel, your chair's making a fucking racket, so it's not moving. But all I will say is that if I came in prepared, um, prepared? I think prepared? I would. Oh, God. I think I would deliver well. That's my I think my delivery would be fantastic. Okay, that's my personal. But you know something? We're going to do this. We're going to uh, do this. Okay. I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. Open mic. The three of us. Five minutes. I'm down. Five minutes. I can and tell you one the... thing: you would not be able to do crowd work. Why not? I mean, yeah, that would probably be too. That would probably be too <laughs> on the spot. On the spot. Yes. 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 That'd be too spontaneous. Question about <laughs> with 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 the stand up. How how you do stand up? Also, obviously, but how long ago were you just doing open mics? Um. Well, I'm still doing open. I did an open mic last night. So okay. so you're kind of doing. You're in that. Yeah, area. I've I've yet to like uh like I'm only past. Recently, I think I'm like passed at the stand, which is like sick. Yeah, but shit, yeah. but there's no other clubs that I'm. What do people not know about comedy? About like everyone watches comedy online. The comedy I think is is like the never been more popular than it is now. What what do people not understand about the lifestyle about or just about the industry? Oh, that's tough. What I just happened? Um, what do people <laughs> Wait, not know about comedy? What happened? Did that that all get, anyone else know the Seinfeld episode where they have the chicken fryer thing? <laughs> Oh yeah, it is like that. Yeah, when Kramer can't Kramer sleep. Can't yeah. Sleep. Um I'm so glad he knew that. What do people not know about comedy? I was thinking last night that uh just at the open mic, like well one, watching somebody bomb is also enjoyable. 
It is. It's an experience it's in and of itself. Food. That's why I yeah. cannot yeah. wait for this experience right I now. I am in. I am in. Are you going to come if we, if we do an open mic? Are you I would in? come, yeah. All right. Shmali, Zach, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I am in. I'm are you all going to do it? We'll all do it. We'll, we'll all, all do it. it. All right. We'll find a shitty open mic where other people are really not funny. Yeah. Well, so you're going to no find fashion. like any open mic you go to, it's going to be a mixed bag. It's not like everybody's going to crush. It's not like everybody's going to bomb, you know? Right. Um, it's just like you'll find somebody will bomb all the way through. But the, the cool thing about when you do it is like, in the same way you get used to bombing, you get more comfortable feeling like it, the silence doesn't hurt. You get used to watching somebody bomb where it's like, because like, when I first started, you'd watch somebody bomb and you'd be like, oh my God, they're bombing. But now you could watch somebody bomb. After doing it enough, you're like, oh, he's bombing, whatever. It doesn't matter, you know? It doesn't, like, it doesn't hurt me. You don't get the secondhand embarrassment, which also furthers my one. Okay, when people say cringe, you know, when people comment. Yeah, sure. Or you cringe at something. I always think, and I got roasted for this on a TikTok clip, but whatever. I still believe it. When you say that, or when you get secondhand embarrassment, that is you feeling like, oh, if I was them, I would be embarrassed. So it's a reflection of your own insecurity. If you cringe yes. on somebody Boom, else's... You just people. roasted everyone on the internet. Yes. <laughs> but they, they were roasting Why me that for that. Why is that a reflection of your own embarrassment? Sorry, I got to be honest. Yeah, no, please. I want you to push back, because they will on the online in the comments. Uh, if you... Do you get embarrassed on other people's behalf? Where you're like, ah, that's oh, he's bombing. Do you do that? You cringe? Yeah, sure, I do. Yes. That is. I'm like uncomfortable. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, isn't that because you're like, ah, if I was him, I'd be so embarrassed right now. He should be embarrassed because I'm I'm embarrassed for him. I would be embarrassed for him. Yeah. Yes. Because you, that, I would be embarrassed. You if I know, was that guy. you know that in that moment, if it was you, you'd be embarrassed. Hundred yeah. percent. Therefore, why? maybe he's not embarrassed. But maybe he's not. So my point is like, last night I'm watching somebody bomb and I feel nothing, but I'm watching the girl next to me go, ah, like she's cringing on his behalf. And I'm like, when you see enough, you know that it's not a big deal. But I'm like, oh, that's her saying, oh, I'd be embarrassed if I was him. And in my mind, I'm like, I wouldn't be embarrassed if I'm hi I was him because I've been him. And so my point is that when you cringe at somebody, that is your own insecurity that you're projecting onto their thing. But, what but that's an insecurity yeah. almost everyone on planet yeah, will have until say. they've been the experience. Well, well that's I well, I'm just that. my point is that let's say you cringe. Let's say a guy's on stage and his pants fall off, right? And, and you cringe for him. Therefore, what? If, that, if, you would be embarrassed. I'm not saying you'd that. be embarrassed if it was you, but that doesn't. Had, but that's a normal thing to be embarrassed. No, no. About. But yeah. my point, my point. See, that's what people were saying in the comments, and I'm glad you brought that up. Please. My point is that you, it's not that you shouldn't be embarrassed for him. Like, yeah, I'd be embarrassed too. That doesn't mean I'm insecure. That just means I wouldn't want my pants to fall down. So I am feeling the embarrassment I would feel if I was up there. But people cringe at stupid shit. Or, yeah. or things that might like yes, furries. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Fur <laughs> the furries, furries, yeah, you, you can cringe. I hear you. You're saying that if, 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 if you detect, if you automatically get uncomfortable and embarrassed by something that's not worth getting embarrassed about, that guy's more secure than you. But yes, fact that he's up there and does not give a fuck. That doesn't mean you don't you cringe are, at yeah. shit that you should cringe it's at. It's hard. I hear you. The saying. furry thing, though, I, I got I let me, I'll hear you out, but that's not just cringe because you're right. The furries themselves might not be embarrassed. Right. That's disgust. <laughs> Well, yeah, but again, that's you feeling that's like I would be outrage. disgusted to be that. Well, I actually saw, weirdly enough, like I watched a video about furries the other day, and they were like, no, we don't want to have sex with animals. Like, that was one guy or whatever. Like, I, is that what your disgust was? I don't know. They no, just like no. being in. I'm, I'm joking. Right? I, oh, okay. Well, then, I like, think even like weird? TikTok dances. Let's say it's like some guy like being super like feminine, but like hot boy. Like, I'm going to do this. And every, all the comments are like, well, I mean, it's like a lot of girls thirsting over them, but then guys yeah. are like, oh, this is so cringe. Like, can't look. It's like, well, because you could not do that. And yeah, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that means you should want this to do that. This is also true. I think almost anything in the world that's very polarizingly cringe, like anything where people, like, it gets a visceral reaction of, oh, my God, that's so cringe. Right. Usually the, has a, like, other side to it of people who that exact thing either turns them on, excites them, uh, they love it. Right. Like, like the guys on TikTok are just like, <laughs> yeah, like it's the cringiest thing in the world. It's like when, but there's a huge audience for that. And it's like when you watch like a guy that's like walking on the edge of a building and you feel fear because yeah. it's like I you, still feel that. Yeah, it's because you're not on the edge of the building, <laughs> but you're feeling what you would feel if you were in his shoes. Yeah. So I my, if I was like in a submarine right now. Oh my god, the submarine, dude! I'm fucking nuts now. 
that submarine's crazy. I mean, I don't know when you're releasing this, so it might be like outdated by the time we get to it. But uh, well, this uh, is we, going on two years. That's a decently okay, sick, big sick. deal, but I I think people are going way too crazy over it's it. It's weird because I saw a meme that was like me. It was like me consuming all the su- uh, submarine content that I can get, and it's like some chick like. But uh, that has been me. Oh, I'm that like, has also been me, bro. I, have, like, I don't I know what it is. I wasted two hours at work yesterday, and mind you, I, I'd like to think that I have things to do. I wasted two hours. I heard about it yesterday. Was, yeah. Like, everyone around me was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" I just heard, bro. I was like fascinated. I was dialed in. I read every article. Watch four YouTube videos. It's the ocean, dude. We're all like, it's like we're interested in the oceans. Yeah, we're like submarine explorers. It's so many mad ocean experts. People are like, oh, who cares? They're billionaires. I'm like, dude, the ocean, and they're they're down. Um, two miles down into the ocean where light can't reach. It's super Nothing. interesting. It's scary, man. And there, there might be alive right now. I guess the might be that... alive part is, it's but like in general, fuck. I don't understand the like the whole craziness around it. Because right. Planes crash all the time, and like. Four or five people will die in like some sort of accident. Like, but they're not alive for extended periods. Yeah. Right. We so know alive. they're alive in one of the scariest places. Do we know they're alive though? Do well, we not we, know we, that the thing is possible and like it's opened up and now they've just drowned? Well, that's point possible. Three days that's ago? possible. You don't. You don't know. But but we know one thing that they have ninety six hours of oxygen left, so they're guaranteed to be dead by this amount of time. So they're right. So right. You think, right. So you think at that specific time, everyone on the internet is just all right. We're out. tomorrow morning. We're done. They are not necessarily. I do think that. That people will fall off and they'll be like, "Oh, did they find the? Did they find it yet?" But um, yeah, there's a, it, that's a good point. There's like that time it's frame. Where, sure, if you knew they were dead and there was no way to get them back, right? I'm like, All right, five here's people my died. Take people would, like we would have forgot about it. It's already. the rescue operation suspense. Yeah, and the Can fact that they might them? be there. Yeah, yeah right. it's here's very my take on that though. Let's say, God willing, uh, that they're safe and they, yeah. And by yeah. the way, there's already gonna be people in there. Going, God willing, billionaires should die. Well, right, fuck right, right. So, God willing, they get saved, right? These are people with a combined net worth of, like, a lot. These yeah. people have power and resources. Imagine coming back up after the most heroin experience of your life. You could have been dead. And you see that <laughs> a thousand memes, just memes about you. You're you're ordering hits on people. Like, I think- like find me that meme account. Murder them. <laughs> I, I was thinking about, like, the fact that they don't know how viral they are, but... I don't even think they'd probably just be like so overwhelmed once they get past the fact that they survived and all that shit. When they get to actually uh, absorb the whole media side of things, I think it's like I don't know. There's like so they, they're just gonna be like, whoa, like we're the the headline. I don't know. I don't think this they're gonna, gonna be care be- about the hate as much as they're gonna be like, wow. Well, this we're- is the thing they can bring to like billionaire parties because there's always gonna be a dick measuring contest amongst billionaires when they're at their like fancy like you know <sighs> dinners. They can be like. Oh, I'm not just any billionaire. Like, oh, I'm, I'm one of the submarine guy. billionaires. Yeah. Oh, you're so. Do you think any of them have like an angry kid who's like really distraught and like doesn't have a relationship with them, and is right now thinking like maybe don't save them because I'm in the will. I was actually, I was, I was wondering that myself. Like, <laughs> like maybe the like, Succession. Like, do you watch Succession? I, know, yeah, I, do, but I know the idea. Yeah, it's like the I'm idea that oh yeah for sure. There's and gotta one be of, one. Like, one of, there's a 19 year old on the sub. Yeah, who I saw is that. The Ooh. son of the. Which is fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the it. whole thing obviously is terrible. I, I, I would love for them to be saved. Correct. But, uh, same. But the, that the, the, the dynamic right. for sure is interesting to think about, like family wise and all that shit. Yeah. If only we could have stuck capitalism on the boat and let that crash. Yeah, I right? love capitalism. Yeah. The ism, the whole ism. I, I love capitalism. <laughs> yeah, socialism for sure should go down. Yeah, I agree. Amazing. <laughs> no, bo- 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 Actually, don't post this pod. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this this whole freaking thing is crazy. I've been wrapped up in this. But yeah, no, it's not looking good. I'll tell you that Do you much think right it's now. Weird, though, it's not looking great, guys. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I, I had to bet, yeah. Approval. It's not looking great. If I had to bet, like ten hours max. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Bad. We could guess, right? Do you? Yeah. Or is that too? Is that insane? Is that too morbid? Is that, yeah? I feel like a little it's much. Insane, right, no, no, no. Let's go. What, I'm not what? taking over under bets. And I'm no, I'm taking over under bets. What? I was just. Do you think they'll? Do you think they'll be saved? Zero chance. No. Do you think they will find the sub? So I, I, yes. know, I, I, was I actually, think they'll find the subs no, at some point. No, no, no. How do no. you find anything Hold in the on. ocean? Time out. How? No, that's not a fair they're question. They're going to continue looking. No, I don't think they're going to continue looking once they're dead. I don't I think, think they, they will. will. Why? I think they will. For five, for general. stupid how long, Okay, here's a good... Here's Why did they continue looking for the Titanic? Because it's the uh, well, fucking Titanic. So this is the fucking submarine Oh, that's a good question. How long did they look for the Titanic? How long did they have to look? And and how Bro, long like did Malaysia they look for... 370, how long did they look for that thing? Or Amelia Earhart. How long did yeah. they look for her? Did, did they we look, look for Amelia? But also looking. how... But, but, that was back in the day. And also, do they have any idea where she went down? 
No, the, the back in the days, day, yeah. they had horrible technology. They, That's a good like, point too. they like took out a telescope, like I can't see her. Bye. That's a good also, point. I think there'll be That's a moral point. standing on not stopping to look for it because like people are gonna be like, oh, now that they're dead, no one's gonna look for it. Like, no, like families want to like have closure and different things. Like, it's like a uh, whole thing. Too. This maybe. is making me want to like go read some articles because. It boggles my mind that we have the ability to find things in the ocean. It's fascinating. The ocean is very big. Yeah, but it's There's also no like... There's right no street signs in the ocean. There's no satellite coordinates in the ocean. How did they find the Titanic? I don't, I'm I so don't know. curious. Do you know the area that, that how big they're searching is like two and a half times the size of Connecticut? Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Why do they keep on comparing it to Connecticut? That's what I don't want to <laughs> There's so many what weird analogies. What the fuck analogies. is Connecticut? That Connecticut is so big. Why not LA? Here's a two weird one. Two and a half one. times LA. Because maybe it's quarter. exactly two and a half times the, the size of Connecticut. No, why can't they just say it's a half the size of LA? They you guys, do you, Connecticut did, did you hear about that thing. dog that was born? Seriously. Uh, that, that, did you hear about that dog that was born that uh, is running? Roughly 0.280th the size of Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. No, well, I saw a TikTok. Uh, it was like, they. it wasn't even about the Titanic thing, but it was about the ocean. So they related it to that. But it was like, oh, at 13,000 feet of the in, into the ocean, um, the pressure is like a polar bear standing on a quarter. <laughs> and all, all the... Con- I was... <laughs> I was so glad because all the comments were like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> like, what is it the weight of a polar bear? Why does he have to be standing on a quarter? I do not get it at all. But Did a scientist come up with it? It's like, if we'd said nickel, the, all the math would have been off. off. Yeah, that, that too. Does it have to be a quarter? Why is it a quarter? It's so weird. Is the yeah. polar bear Jewish? Like, we, there are if questions. That, that why couldn't answers. it have been a donkey on a nickel or something like is that? It? What do you yeah. Yeah. Why, why a polar yeah, bear? Are we gonna have gloss on a polar bear on a quarter or an elephant yeah. on a penny? Yeah, Is like, it, can you say it one more time? It's a donkey. What do you say? Donkey. <laughs> you, no, I liked how you said the other word. I'll say donkey. You what said you another say? word. What do you say? I said donkey. What was the other word you said? Donkey. No, the, what was the word you got? You commented on it. You said donkey. Ah, there's a Jewish? word. No, no, you said something when you were Polar talking. bear. Quarter or nickel. Way back when you were talking about like getting people on, you said a word. I did? Damn. How am I supposed to remember what well, you're talking I'll, about I'll, right now? I'll yeah. go back. I'll watch no, it. No, in fairness, how oh, am I supposed to remember? Prepared? Jamie, bring it up. Prepared. Prepared? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, he, he has a, strong, say, he, New he has a strong New York accent where he can't say the A. I see. So, like, if you're, like, we see bears in the forest, he sees a beer. Beer. Is I there see. a New yeah, Jersey beer. accent? Why does New Jersey not have an accent? I don't know. Unless you're Italian. They do. It's called getting in fights at bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to just get a swollen tongue or something. No, I, I don't know. Where are you guys from? Cleveland. Cleveland. Oh, we're both in Cleveland. Losers. He's from Queens, New York. How'd you guys meet? We knew each other since we were kids. And okay, like young, and then... they've been roommates in different places for a couple years. Okay, yeah. eight years. Eight years. Yeah, yeah I met each other like twenty one, right outside of college. Yeah, it's been and that uh, was it, and then we, and then he met him. They used to him. date also. And then, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and then he met him on a camping trip. No, like this, where I, you, I know, but this is where like you guys connected. You guys, all three of you went camping. You guys camping. had like a rendezvous there, on a camping trip. People don't know this. You guys... There's uh there's like camping trips just for like Jews. Mm. It's where we decide. Jews what... have tons of events together, yeah, or like, yeah. but it's a camp that we choose to go to. But specifically, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is you actually... like the good Holocaust jokes. I see. Shmuley, I've had it. Up By the way, Shmuley, <laughs> you are you are like we're keeping these jokes in. 100%. Oh, hundred percent in. 100%. Um, as long as yeah. I, I, I got you, just cut out my laughs. Just cut to me like <laughs> stern face. Yes, cut to this it. face every time. I would never <laughs> approve of the Holocaust. Yeah, yeah. No, we got you. <laughs> yeah, no. You knew each other before, him, but then like we went to, a, they went to a camping event. They had a rendezvous in a tent, and uh, they. When our like, George Soros funded plan works, we will spare your life. Cool. Thank yeah, you. You're I good. You're good. That. Um, Even after all the Lakewood stuff, you guys are like, let's see what he has to say. Honestly, the shit that you said about Lakewood before is amazing. Really? Oh my god! Not only that, yeah. I Do you guys a have a large Jewish Jewish audience? It's that mostly. Yeah. Will... It's oh, mostly cool. Jewish. I hope, I hope they appreciate my. They will. They will. They will. Cool. But not only that, I, um, I, I have a friend who moved to Brick from Lakewood, so it's actually that's what makes it even funnier. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. But is he um, acidic? Philly. Oh, he lives in Brick? Yes, yes, yes. That's funny. He lives on the water, right? We'll Brick find him. We'll get him out of there. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's great. It's great. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to have to evict him. I'm just saying. You can call me for that. I'll it's give like, you all oh, okay. the tips on how to evict him. Do you know the Step Brothers? Do you watch Step Brothers? You know the uh, scene where yeah. they, like, they don't want someone like coming into their neighborhood, so they just start putting on KKK. Yeah, and yeah exactly. Like, they start like, hailing Hitler like just in the middle. Like You notice that you don't want that guy in your community. You just go on their front lawn. <laughs> we'll figure out a way. <laughs> 
All right, everybody, just want to pause for a quick second to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Joseph Bender Suits. Um, Shmuel has actually been driving me crazy the last couple of weeks about how much I suck at giving the uh, sh uh, shout out for the ads. So we're going to actually use our guest, Sean Malaya, to give a quick uh, ad over here for our guest, <laughs> Joseph Bender Suits. Go ahead. Uh, Joseph Bender Suits, they specialize in custom shoot. <laughs> they specialize in custom suits, shirts, and coats, uh, and they come to you uh, by appointment only. Check them out. Joseph Bender on Facebook. Joseph Bender official on Instagram. And uh, that is... Oh, and should I do his phone number? Please. 838-202-8102. Joseph Bender. He's the best guy for suits in the area. Uh, so check him out, especially if you live in Long Island, where's his Valley Stream. Mm, for sure. Yeah, Queens. He'll come to wherever you are. So uh, check him out, Joseph Bender. That's a natural uh, right there. There you go. Oh, That's yeah. what I was looking for. Uh, Sean, okay. So I wanted to bring up another video of yours because I thought it was genius. Okay. But I got a couple questions as a sure. lead off from it. You did a, what I think is a brilliant move on, off of Tinder and Instagram. Okay. Okay. So for those that don't know, explain that one. Okay, and yeah, and it's like a stand-up bit I had, which was like, uh, basically, I, oh, I have to remember it. So I, met, I met, matched with a girl on Tinder, and then I, her bio had her Instagram, so I messaged her on Instagram, like, thought we should take it off Tinder, and she messaged me, oh, I don't have a Tinder. So I was catfished, so the bit is like, uh, but I realized doing that was like a good icebreaker, so I started messaging girls. Um, thought we should take it off Tinder. Just random chicks on Instagram. And they would be like, oh, I don't have a Tinder. And I'd be like, oh, well, we should still you know, talk or whatever. <laughs> but then one girl uh, was like, oh, that's really creepy. Send me a screenshot of the profile. Even though I made it up. So I had to make a profile of her. And then, <laughs> and then that Amazing. profile started getting likes. So I was like, oh, I see why people do this. And then I started inviting guys to shows. With the girl's profile, I come to the show and laugh really loud. It's a turn on. I'll be there late, whatever. And then in the... <laughs> you got people to come to your show. Well, I mean, and then so in the video, I say this, and then some guy in the crowd's like, it's him. And then I'm like, oh, you, you can't... Or I was like, there's like 10 guys in the video. I'm like, there's 10 guys here to see Denise right now. They're just finding out now that I'm, you know... A dude. Yeah. <laughs> and some guy's like, oh, it's him. And then the guy in the video is like, yeah... Uh, but that was just a random guy in the crowd playing along with a bit. Like, he just happened right. to be like... In real life, I've never done that. The only truth is that um, is that I was catfished. I DM'd a girl, and she was like, I don't have a Tinder. And then I realized... In the moment, I was like, oh, this is a good icebreaker. And that was the only truthful thing. The rest I made up. I was like, oh, what else would happen if I really did this, you know? Right. Um, so no, I've never actually catfished somebody and told them to come to a show. But the people want to know. Yeah. Want to know a couple things. Sure. First and foremost, what is your actual icebreaker open move? Oh, I, it's always different. You got. I think the best way to do it is to feel what's right for the person. You know, you gotta whatever feel what comes to you. It's like when you. I got a cat recently. And they're like, uh, not to compare <laughs> women to cats, but weird segue. <laughs> yeah, but they, but the, well, so here's why the lady that I got the cat from, she's like, what are you gonna name it? I was like, I don't know. She's like, you just gotta let it come to you. It'll just, it'll just, it'll, it'll, you'll feel, he'll inspire a name within you, which did not happen with this cat. <laughs> but the cat inspired zero names. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what you gotta do for. You can't have a stock opener. I mean, I guess you can, I, but for me, I, I don't have a stock opener. I'll just be like. I just got a cat. Whatever I feel, yeah, that that might be. If she inspires that in me, I will send. I will send that. But if you yeah. see her and you're like you're a cat person, I, wait, 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 say that again. I said if you see her and you see she's a cat person, you're gonna bring then the cat then I'll bring the cat yeah. up. Yes, exactly, exactly. So yeah, that that could lead to trouble if you uh, you see any girl like see that they have something and be like, I too have that thing. And right? Like, no, I don't. I also have eyes. Yes, <laughs> I think that. Uh, what should I name my eyes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I exactly. noticed you're breathing. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk. Yeah, what's that about? There's so much in common, but uh, yeah, period cramps. I also experienced those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so no stock opener. But yeah, that's the that's the video. Do you think? I think honestly, I think this is the way I think is that in some ways comedians are kind of the new rock stars. 
in a lot of maybe ways. Maybe some in of a them. lot in some ways. I like don't know the, like if the I downtown am, New York scene or of if like, I can be, but well, I'm just wondering like, has has comedy helped you get dates, um, get laid, stuff like that? Help me. The Sean most, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most. He, your comedy has helped him get lit. <laughs> so I've had a lot of videos go viral, but the only ones that have like inspired women to DM me was I was on a dating show that went viral. Oh, okay, yeah. And that actually got me DMs from girls. Every video that preceded that one, never, no thirsts in the DM. So I do think, I mean, if you're like Matt Reif, yeah, fucking you're the. That's not even because he's funny. Right. So he's good he is funny and he is talented, but it's but a combination yeah, of things yeah. that gets him women, yeah. I'm sure. You think like, he's going his DMs? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> but then you take somebody like Mark Norman or Shane Gillis or. Shane Gillis definitely gains thirst tweets. <laughs> not like Matt Reif is. No, no he's because he's Reif. not a classically handsome dude. He's, getting, he's got that energy of like Shane is getting like comedy fan women. Matt Reif is getting women. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's the difference. <laughs> That's True the facts. difference. Yeah. yeah. Totally yeah. that. Matt Reif is slaying, And Mark like, Norman is getting forty five year old men. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Also, Matt Reif's like TikToks, he he knows his demographic. Half of his TikToks and jokes. Our crowd, our crowd, like whatever, what it's called. He's got two specials, I think. Out. He does no, he does specials, but a lot of his TikToks are like doing the, the ones crowd, that are, doing yeah. crowd work he's, with women. But that's not just the point. He's saying Matt Reif is getting people that athletes are getting. It makes no fucking yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 he's just slaying across yeah, the board. Yeah, correct, I mean, correct. hopefully we'll have him on the pod one day. But like, I'm not one saying Matt Reif isn't funny. Hold on, one day, hopefully. Of Matt, course, Matt, of course, Matt's coming on the pod. But it's just <laughs> nice that Matt is finally, finally, like it's nice everyone's wanted to have a man be overly, like wildly successful. And be like, yo, it's probably just because he's hot. He's and it's well, like, who says that? No, like people could say that about Matt Rife, and like arguably they're right or wrong. But like so often, like women, it's like, oh, it's because she's hot. Like that's why she got the role. Right, it's right, like right. now we have the man version. Like, but Matt is funny, is funny and talented. Like he the crowd, funny, like I think there's other comics who deserve his career who like do not have his career. All oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, they're, that's I mean, like he's a combination of a lot of things. Correct. It's yeah. Yeah. Some people just if have Matt Rife looked like. Me? You know, Stop. Joe yeah. List. Stop, he right, would not, right, he right. Wouldn't. I'm sorry. But part Joe. of his act is that he plays on the fact that he looks like that. Oh, right. I have, a, I have a bit on Stop. That's what I'm saying. Half his TikTok. Joe are, List couldn't do those bits. Right. Because Joe List you cannot need to do be the hot bit. To Matt Rife does the bits based on the fact that he knows that he had that he had the glow up. Like he does the bits. Interesting. His, that's a, I think that's a solid TikTok. point, which is a talent in and of itself. Yes. To he's learned how to it's self awareness. Yeah. Self awareness. He's learned how to hone it. Interesting. I also I I would bet money that specifically Stav. With his body and his balding, gets laid more than any comic. Oh, I bet Stav gets laid. Well, it's an like, energy. Louis it's, C.K. makes what? fun of his look all the time. Yeah, yeah. Stav, Stav is the getting the, the most comedian. women of any comedian. What? Yeah, hundred percent of any. Uh, other than maybe Matt. Yeah, yeah. More other it's than his Matt? energy. Dude. It's his energy. Really? It's yeah. his energy. Yeah, 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 you could tell. You could tell. How the guys? Schultz, maybe. I mean, Schultz. Yeah. Schultz. I think is married. He's married. But... He's married. Like he's married. It's so Tasho. Can we talk about Andrew Schultz? Tosh, yeah. Tosh. Tosh. Daniel Tosh. I forgot he existed. <laughs> yeah, but he, he had a couple of I could of see him having right like a, a female fan base for sure. What, what about, happened to that guy? What about Joe Rogan? He's still around. He does he does like live performances. Rogan? Rogan. Yeah. He, he, with he kids. gets like he gets like Republican chicks based on <laughs> yeah, he gets, <laughs> He gets women with like the American flag in their bio, like yeah, yeah. which are like, tramp stamp. Yeah, I got yeah. Trump's face. No, but there's model. like there's like the blonde hotties that like are straight. Yeah, there's there's you know, that he gets you know yeah, all ends of the spectrum have. Uh, he gets the people whose grandparents women. were uh, plantation owners. <laughs> Those are the people right, that, like, right, <laughs> hitting on Jerokin. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> who, who are your goats right now that you think are like that inspire you comedy wise? Yeah. Uh, Shane Gillis for sure. Um, Mark Norman sick. Uh, but I'm closer with him now, which is pretty cool. But Mark? Uh, yeah, you got to hang out with him and stuff. Yeah, we're buddies. Uh, we're boxing Friday. We're going to like a gym together. Where? So, Shit. Uh, just my, the, I go to the Crunch Gym. I like box there. Which one? Thirty Eighth Street. Beautiful. What time? <laughs> Oh my god, god that's yeah. hilarious. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even I was like the 38th street. I'm like, should I say that? Like <laughs> I have you all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> now just so basically if I if Friday, so if you I just show, gotta DM him, dude. Basically, if I show up at 12 a.m. on Friday, like Thursday night, 12 a.m. and I'm just there till 12 a.m. the next night, <laughs> I will see him walk into the gym. Maybe. He's just gonna be like 
Hey, that's Sean. A, no, no it's I, not, I don't it's think it's not even that. It's gonna be like, hey, hey, hey. You like? Let me get, let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't think it's gonna be so. Hey, 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 hey. I think it's gonna yeah. be a little more aggressive. What's your that. phone number? Can I? Well, yeah. I think I think I'll I'll make him sound. We've been making this pod for seven months. Can you tell me if I have the right number or not? Can you tell me that? You have his number? Do we can't do this put it live on the pod? No, I'll, I'll bleep it. I'll bleep it out. I'm just asking. I'm not you. telling you on the pod. The pod. Yeah, no, I'm asking the last four digits. <laughs> the last four? No, you can't on the pod. You can do it no, after. No, you can't do that. Get the fuck out of here. How is anyone going to know? What is yeah, how about this? You yeah, can I'll show, show you. Me. Yeah, go. You know his number by heart? No, I know. I'm looking. You know what's funny, though? is like Mark always talks about how he's really bad with like interpersonal like he can't make eye contact stuff. it's like matching your like hi label leader <laughs> with Mark Norman's like inability Mark, Mark, to Mark like, Norman be like I might go on your pod one day <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, no you don't I have it wrong okay oh, I'm here again um Wrong. I have to you do made it. you made label sound like he's Marge Simpson. <laughs> I am going at you, right here. <laughs> oh, homie. But you also just have to DM him on Instagram. Oh no, we have. Oh, you have? Of course. And he hasn't responded. I, he well, responds, we did. To be fair, on. we opened with a dick pic, and he. Oh, yeah. that yeah. He actually he has a podcast. We might be drunk, right? Of course, yeah. So he, I think it's either him or the other fellow, Sam Morell, who's the just fellow. The other I guy who was. What are you, I, I think he's four years old. That is <laughs> Sam oh Goddamn God. Morell. You okay. put some respect Sam, on I his name. I happen to like Sam Morell better than more than Mark Norris. Well, I think yeah, they're both. I just say that on the pod. We could. They're both very talented, but Sam Morell, that there's a certain like douchey, dry humor that he has. That's it's. So, I, I I don't know what the how to share opinions on, but you, you can have your opinion. That's what I'll say. <laughs> so I have that, opinions that I will tell you off pod. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they've sure. been responding. To, they responded a few times. <laughs> <laughs> they responded a few times on um, on on their "We Might Be Drunk" pod. That he has not responded directly yet. To, to him. To him, yeah. correct. Although we might be drunk, he he responded a couple of times. I will say this pod has shown me like over and over again that like there's a much thinner wall between you and like people that you like look up to that you think like that they're those people living in a different universe. I than me. agree. It's a much thinner wall. I totally agree. I mean, yeah. you can find like I mean even Joe Rogan who's you know like super big like you'll find little pockets of like. Maybe his dog has an Instagram. Like, his dog has like a 500,000 follower Instagram. Okay, well then you find that, oh, but like Joe's uh, wife's mom has Instagram with like 3,000 followers. Right, right. Well, I'm not saying that exists. It doesn't Joe have a dog that's like famous? You... <laughs> Did you just black out for, for, for 12 seconds? <laughs> we just yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah, we just said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, but so but he, see, real estate he in thinks head. in those terms though, where he was like, "Wait, doesn't he have a dog I can DM?" No, like he, his brain went I'm there. I'm just imagining Label met texting. I've been actually in touch with his dog. The yeah. dog does not text back. Yeah. I'm just like, "Where we were you? We at Crunch Gym, Marshall." <laughs> we had a quick vote. Is it Marshall? Is that the name? I think the dog's name is Marshall. Oh my god! But yeah, there is thin walls for sure. <laughs> He's like, I order dog food. Just come by, please. <laughs> you see him outside Crunch Gym barking at it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. No, it's, just, it's a much thinner wall. I, honestly, this pod taught me like you can manifest almost anything, but it happens. I think the comedy world, it, more so than other worlds, like it's it's easier. I think it's easier to get to Rogan or any comic in the world than it is to get to actors. So that that I would agree like as well. Here's, yeah. here's yeah. the thing. Is, I've been to a, a hundred concerts in my life. I go to a lot of rock shows. You have to wait outside for like four 40 minutes sometimes to see well you're your also artists. you're in the spot that people want them like the next day like when you go to a concert that's 50,000 people or whatever deciding to go see that right. person right, right right but like the next day there's not 50,000 people lined the up next to day they're see just a dude at Quiznos right 100% but I was gonna I was gonna juxtapose that with every time I go to a comedy show I've been able to talk to the comedians then because yes. they just get a beer Outside, like outside the venue itself. The venue itself. They're just there. True. To that too. That's it's intimate. Yeah. 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 You. But if you go to a Matt Ripe show, you're not going to be able to see him afterwards. Unless right. I bring like you know my mom or something. Yeah, like twenty women with you. <laughs> like like you're going to a frat party. Or oh, something. I sent my mom because I got him confused with um what's his face the guy you interviewed. Oh, Young Gravy. He's not into milfs. He's just into regular. No, he movies. dated yeah. Kate Beckinsale. Matt Ripe's into. Old Calling Kate Beckinsale Kate, milf though is who's like that? she's like forty two. Kate Beckinsale know, is a British actress. She's really? like forty two and she's Kate 
Absolutely. But would you what? agree? You don't know who Kate Beckinsale is? Someone being a, <laughs> the fuck? He's Twelve seconds later. Someone being into <laughs> Kate Beckinsale doesn't mean they're into milfs. You get right? What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 100 Kate is not a milf. Yes. yes. See, he doesn't even realize. No, I know she's forty-five. Which, no, exactly. It's not a milf. She yeah. looks like an eighteen-year-old. That doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course I hear, not. I'm no, saying, I agree with label on this. I think Young Basics, Gravy would fact, go after anything that's very good looking. No, Gravy has a... It's a even Kim thing. Kardashian, I wouldn't say is a MILF. Like, it's not MILF energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Age is just a number. <laughs> no, you have to be... I know what you mean, though. I, I know agree. What you mean. I know what you mean. You but, gotta be a real mama. I don't know how to explain it. That's pretty much what it comes Jennifer to Aniston's MILF level. Yeah. Jennifer, at this point, yes. She's in her 50s, though. Yeah. Okay, great. Kevin Beckinsale is hitting is that. that? Kate is, I is, think is, true like, MILF is 50. But also, everyone knows yeah, true me. MILF. True but MILF. It doesn't yeah. have to true be. If you have MILF, there's a difference. Pause. Yeah. 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 Terrible I'm, something. Yeah. I'll tell you the difference. If you're 40 plus with kids, you're a MILF. If you're 50, no kids, you but become Kate a MILF. Has well, kids. The, the children the, make a big difference. In the world that we all come from, like in the Orthodox Jewish world, we know hundreds of women who are in their mid 20s who have kids. So like are no. they milfs? No. 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 You're no, not no. a milf because you're 25 but, but in the and Jewish kids. world if you're 40 plus you're a milf. You don't have to wait till the person's 50. Kit Beckinsale is 49 years old. Let me see what she looks you like. You thought she was like 41. No, no, yeah. so she's 45 plus. 49 years old. She dates comedians by the way. Dude, Bro, Sean, she's Sean, more, get 49. Involved. You can't tell me that she's 49 years old. Wait guys, can we push this? We I want Sean to be the next comedian to date Kate. Kate because she dates no comedians. Level. Yeah, thank no you. Level. So hello, it's a thin wall, right? I we were just that talking this about is this. Be put out with we, me on it. Women, are, there's not a thin great. wall between the woman you want and like there's a thin wall between your hero, but there's not a thin wall between the woman you're attracted to. There's a very big and she wall. has a kid. Big you know what wall. that wall is called? The glass ceiling. The glass. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do something with uh, what's the oh the hymen. <laughs> what? The, I don't know why that's where my brain went. It was a virginity joke. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Sick. feminism. So does this does this beat out the Trump pod? Come on, you guys were probably like this the whole time. Like, oh yeah, tell me more about. Uh, was it or no? I mean, can, exactly. can I, I didn't share, watch it. Can I share my favorite? <laughs> Label's gonna hate that. Is that could? Yeah, you could roast no, no, me. My I, favorite. I probably would disagree with my your favorite take, message but. I got was from a friend of all of ours who was just like, "Great pod, but honestly, surprised that Label was able to form senses with Trump's dick that far <laughs> up his throat." Oh, really? You were you were sucking her off? Or? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> Label was performing Cunnilingus podcast style the entire. Interesting. <laughs> But so, she seemed like the type that would like it, based on the one clip I watched. <laughs> I, I literally watched one clip, but she seemed like she was like stoked to be she like was, the center of attention. Maybe yeah. I don't even know who she, she was is. Very nice. I just she know was, she, she has really the last really nice. name. She Trump. was very nice, but he, all of his kids seem to have this almost preternatural. Oh, she's his daughter. No. In law. Oh, but she's such a Trump dude. I would believe you. Would, she's a Trump. Like she's such a Trump. Really? She, yeah. I, I disagree. I think she's middle of the country, North Carolina. Like that's what I think she. No, I'm saying the way she like holds herself and like the the yeah. media readiness, yeah. the fact yeah. that she yeah she's she been in the media agrees for with that long. everything that her father like she he does no wrong, no wrong. Like there's no critical thought. It's all like yes, 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 yes. Interesting. She's a Trump, but like all of his his kids are just like. Is she married? Yeah. To Eric. Him. Oh, that's Eric. That's Trump's how she's wife. his daughter-in-law. Yeah. Oh. What did you think? It was his great niece. I didn't, I just saw a blonde chick. Her last name's Trump, and you guys are talking about Trump. And I'm well, like, he oh. keeps having more kids. I miss. Like apparently, he has this other daughter. I didn't even know because he's had a lot of wives. Mm. So dude, was Eric Trump there? No, no. no. Uh, Eric wasn't there. No, no. Um, no, I thought she was really nice. Um, she really was. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was. She was very polite. I mean, uh, no. Most people would just be like, "Oh, she's for sure a dick." Blah blah blah. She's a Trump. I didn't sense any of that. Yeah, she was like, yeah. That's um, true. Uh, like, I don't like that. Has nothing to Did do you get any like news headlines? Shit, where that's no. what you got to do is be like, what's I, fucking? I mean, I wasn't I don't know. there. What's I'll your be opinion honest. on the indictment or <sighs> something? Like, oh, we did ask. We asked her about it. We asked her. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't like asking yeah, her questions. questions. Like, that no. one's tough. Okay. <laughs> no, we asked her all those questions. What's something yeah. you know about Donald that would? Make him look worse to even his fan base. She wouldn't tell you. She wouldn't yeah, tell you. I, I you wasn't that's like a rude campaign question. Season, so yeah, like, I'm, not, no I'm saying I wasn't there to be rude. No, I know. I'm just being she a dick. I wouldn't do that to anyone. I'm just saying. Um, I I don't know. I thought it was. We I interviewed was, uh, months or months earlier. We interviewed Anthony Scaramucci. I don't know if you remember who that is. I know who that is because my friend. Uh, never mind. Go ahead. Dated his daughter. No, he just like grew up in the town where his. Son. Oh, in Jersey. Uh, Connecticut or Long Scaramucci, Island. Yeah, Long oh, Island, right? Long Island, yeah. Long Island. Yeah. 
I, 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 there's no other world where I would know about him except right. for my friend being like, well, have you ever he heard was of this on guy? SNL. I mean, he was made fun of on SNL. Okay. Bill Hader played him, but uh, he was like, so. I mean, he took shots that whole pod. He was just like, he hated ripping, Trump. ripping on. He was without prompting. He was just like, we, we'd be like, hey, what's your name? Anthony Scaramucci, where are you from? Long Island, Trump is a tiny dick. Like, he just <laughs> wanted he that out there. Like Trump. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw the clip you put, but didn't it, the clip you posted, he said something like, uh, you need to be a Trump fan or something like that. And then it go, you guys <laughs> cut to him saying all this shit about liking Trump in yeah, the yeah, past. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he's flip-flopped many flip-flop. times. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I think he's been very consistently on the anti-Trump train since. Yeah. Since well, because he sees where the boat is going. Oh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think. I, agree. I don't know. I don't fucking follow politics, but all I know is my friend grew up with Scaramucci's son, and mm. he had some choice words. That's what I'll oh, say. Oh, who had? <laughs> what? Who had choice words? His friend His who friend knows Scaramucci's kid. His son. Oh, yeah. I'll never... Are you trying to tell me the son of a hedge fund multimillionaire? Would yeah, be a little yeah. Bit of an I'll, asshole? Just, I'll just say... Uh, <laughs> I won't say anything. That's what I'll say. Very politically correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're playing it Yeah. Yeah. You should have done your research before you walked onto the pod. You can't. You can't. Is this a big Scaramucci fan base? No, I don't I, fucking know like, anything about the guy. I like. It happens to me. I like him a lot. I, I do. I don't want to bad mouth just because he was very nice to us. He was on our pod. Well, that's but the hard thing about shit, being in the media, dude. Shit. It's easy to have an opinion about somebody, but then all really of a sudden you're in the fucking midst of it, and you're like, shit, am I allowed to have an opinion about this guy? Yeah. Like, like you were talking about uh, Sam Marill and Mark, and you're like, I, I like Sam more, and I'm like, fuck. I, I'm Colin friends Williams. with one of those guys, so it's hard for me to be like, well, I like this person more, you know? So right. that's that's something you're going to have to get used to the the more you climb. Well, right. I, I, I also do think, like Mark Norman, too. I also think No, that, I know like, what you meant, though. If you're, like, yeah. truly friends with someone, like, you're boys with Mark now, like, which is awesome, you know? But it's, like, a true... Like, you, he should be able... You don't need to be his fan. Like, that's not what a friend is. No, I agree. I mean, well, my opinion we is I like funny. Mark more, but, like, I didn't want to just... Oh, like, you, you like know, Mark more. Then Sam... Personally, yeah, yeah my, my, no, he's different taste. Different but strokes. but again, like being a per, like being friends with, let's say, or let's say you sky skyrocket, you become friends with Joe Rogan, and then tomorrow somebody asks you on the pod, well, what do you think about him? Uh, you know, having RFK Junior on or whatever. Maybe you guys like that. But let's say there's a world where he does something you don't like. You're like well, I'm his friend. What should I say about him on my pod now? So we were actually actually just talking about this, the Shay Stab pod, whatever we were talking and and. The belief we, we were talking literally about this the Mike Tyson, Trump being friends with Mike Tyson, what Mike Tyson said, whatever, just the idea that Tyson will not go against Trump just because Trump took care of him during the whole uh right. raid case that he had in '93. Trump was like by his side and stuck there with him. And that Tyson said some, straight up, I will never ever, no matter what happens, no matter what Trump does, the guy the guy was good to me. I'm never ever it's like gonna Lil Wayne. Him. Lil Wayne's like they try to get him on <laughs> cop stuff, like when all the cop stuff was going down like majorly. And he went on and he's like, I have nothing ever to say about cop stuff. I've never experienced racism in my life. He said that he was in a house that like was getting someone shot up or something, and he was basically like there were two there were two white cops and uh and they basically saved him. And he's right. Like, I'll have nothing ever to say right. bad about cops. And those like technically, he's like, he's like, I'm not saying other people have an experience. He's like, Lil Wayne literally said it. I, I like, I've he just feels indebted to. Yeah, them. he's like, I, I'm like, I've never experienced it, so I'm never gonna say anything. I'm right, gonna. right. Uh, no, I totally agree. And so that's just as you guys grow, as I grow, that's it's just gonna be more of a thing where it's like, oh, I have such a strong opinion, I want to share, but it's just label will share. Yes, I'm sure. Not if someone is well, that also me. makes for good right. pod. If right, you're right. if you're honest, you're that makes for. You're scared to do that sometimes. You're saying that I shouldn't do that. I'm like, I will always say my take. Always. It's, it's optics, bro. That's part of the game. You got to decide. Do I want to? It's it's all. What's that uh, thing I learned in AP economics? It was like uh, fucking opportunity cost. You uh, got You just got to weigh yeah. it. It's like uh, you know, it might be good for content right now. Cost it might be bad. Analysis. Might be bad for the relationship that I want to build ten years from now, or uh, it might be good for the fucking pod indefinitely. But I'll have to, you know, it's like I hear you a million percent. I, I honestly try to, I try as much as possible just to stick to what I believe. It's always gonna yeah. be. My thing. Well, I'm, it's hard because even like you guys were asking me in the beginning about your the lady wanting to get rid of the pod. And I'm like, I don't, sometimes you don't know what you believe. You have to like think, and I'm like, oh, we're on camera and I'm on the mic. And I'm like, you're like, what would you, what do you think? And I'm like, well, what would Judge Judy do? And I'm like, I don't know what I believe. I got to really think about it. You know, sometimes you don't got to. Yeah, I get it. It's a complex situation. You take more time to think about it, but I don't know. I think you can live your whole life off off the Judge Judy thing. 
like, I know. your entire life. That instead of what would Jesus do? What would Judge Judy do? Yeah, you could take that from the the courtroom to what would to, Judy do? To parenting to the bedroom, like that's that's everything. What she's dude. Judy? She's I love she's her, dude. On the gavel. I binged her con like uh, on YouTube. I binged like they had like a bunch of episodes. That was like a few months ago. And is that I was, a dark like, time in your life? No, nah, <laughs> just like I'll find YouTube rabbit holes that I'll like. You know, it's just like no different than binging Breaking Bad. I'm like, I'm gonna binge all the Judy sessions. And What's fucking- the weirdest? like internet rabbit hole you've ever gone down youtube or otherwise uh prison content it's kind yes. of, which In scares Russia. me the prison fucks me up i hate prison Six <laughs> and <laughs> they, they, you know that's crucial take yeah prison's <laughs> creepy dude. well no because it's just like dude i don't know i just watch content where i'm like wow that is like probably worse than death is being in prison or in a submarine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What what prisons are you looking at? Because I feel like really some prisons are way hit. better than death. It was, it was fun. Maybe. Maybe. Well, Norway. I heard it. I laughed. I yeah, but that's not what it is, dude. Like, it's like you just watch some things and it's like you wake up in like a room that's, you know, smaller than this room with some guy. That way is smaller. Smaller. Smaller than this. Yeah, this way room. smaller. And then you the walk. The size of this table. You, and you like you just like somebody's telling you what to do all day. Every guy around you're not friends with anybody. They're just like. So I found that hard to leave. I always thought that that's more of like a TV thing. They make prison seem hard. I felt like depending on which prison you're in, not if you're in like a maximum security bunch of murders. If you're in like a prison for the bunch of people, like let's say stole from Walmart, right? Yeah, he's not like talking robbed. about where all the from guys go that cheat on taxes. I, I said stealing. He's that's, talking about if, talking you're about, in a, if you're in China or Russia and you're in a no, prison. No, even there. here, dude. Because I'm talking I, America. I'm telling you, they're for sure boys with each other. So people maximum, make no, friends in maximum know. security prisons, real murderers, not for freaking chance. Dude, nobody, not want, well, so the, nobody wants to be in prison. A. There's no matches, only cots, right? It's just like, it's like... Imagine high. Imagine the worst high school experience, and now like multiply that by ten, dude. Like getting bullied by people as a kid, but now it's like. And there's AP grown men. AP physics. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm sure like every experience is different, but sometimes the I just see shit that like. Meaner. Would you say that's your worst? That's your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You say that's your worst, your your biggest fear is like prison. Ah, that was, that's more of a recent thing. Like I, it took a lot of binging shit on YouTube to be like, fuck. Have you fucks, have you, know. you stopped cheating on your taxes as heavily since this fear has? Evolved? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, I stopped beating like kids and stuff mainly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you 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 had the right idea. I stopped doing Smart. the illegal you stopped, thing. Stopped like sexually abusing children. That well, changed. No, I meant like beating kids. Uh, yeah, not beating. I was like them. in my mind, I'm like, what would be a funny <laughs> crime to bring up? Yeah. But, Punching uh, is funny. Everything yeah. else with kids not funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I, I, I watched a few fucking uh, prison Wait, docs. I'm actually curious. And... Answer, you guys' answers. Yeah, biggest weirdest, fear? No, no. Weirdest internet word. <laughs> oh. Going down like those America's Got Talent like sob <laughs> stories. God, you like the so sob weird. story? Yeah, wow. I used to go down those... I used to go down those back in the issue it's embarrassing, days, bro. But it's embarrassing. I, Would just, you be sad or, or Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd be like, okay. Oh my god, the army veteran came home again. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> like, like, oh my god, no, it's her prom. Holy shit. Do you watch America's Got Talent or just the sob stories? No, every once in a while I'll watch it. Okay. Yeah, but but the, Favorite winner of all time. Um well, there was the magician dude that was really good way back. Colin Key or whatever. Okay. He was really good. He's like the 16-year-old. Because this was like 10 years ago. I was like, that was when I was in wits. Like, I was in boarding school. And he won. Um, and there were a couple of really funny freaking comedians on there. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. There was a guy that came in second. He was this Jewish skinny dude. And I forgot what his name is. Oh, Williamson. Yeah. Something Taylor Williamson. Oh, okay. He was freaking hilarious. I like the girl that I don't think she's he ever famous made on TikTok now. The girl who does like the... She can, like, shoot a bow and arrow with her, like, foot over her head. Oh, that's oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foot. That, to me, that's, like... Because I guess I see comedians everywhere, and I see... Some, whenever a singer wins one of these Got Talents, I get so upset. I'm like, go anywhere else. Like, right, want, America's... This is where American you get to Idol. see someone who knows how to, like, shoot arrows out of their nose. Like, I want to... I want to see uh, No, I get that. That makes you know? sense. Then there was a dude that can, like, finish a Ruger's Cube in, like, three seconds... And it was ridiculous. That's weird. Every single one. And he was a magician. Yeah, but how do you do that every right. single one? No, he was a magician. I see. So basically, he would have a Rubik's Cube that was like totally for fucked up. Scrambled, yeah. Totally scrambled. And then, he'd br- and then he would like do a magic trick and it would be fully done. I see. So you don't know if he actually did the Rubik's Cube or not. Right, right. But it was ridiculous. It always struck me as weird that um, Howard Stern was a judge on that show. Only because that's like a... 
really family friendly like demographic that they're aiming right. at. Like that's a show you watch with your kids. Yeah, that does. And happen then their kids are like, "Who's Howard Stern, mommy?" And then they like go <laughs> look him up. Howard Stern is not a person you want your kids to like Google. But they like. wouldn't Google. I think that's the thing is maybe they know they won't Google. I don't know. It's like weird how you could do that. You can have like a. You just get grandfathered into fame, and then they're like, it doesn't matter what it was. Now you're just right. kind of like a household name, and that's all that matters, maybe. I, maybe. Did you watch America's Got Talent? Uh, like my parents were watching. I'm, I wasn't big into it, but I, I get the appeal, for sure. Yeah. Like, uh... Oh, fuck. Who He's lying right now. He's oh, Joe he, Rogan could be at America's Got Talent. Like, 10 years. He could be a right. judge. No, no kid's going to be he like... Could be he could be Howard Mandel. He could be yeah. the resident bald guy. Exactly. Joe Rogan's exactly. also not nearly as, I would say, has bad as as howard stern, howard was, yeah. stern. Yeah, howard our stern. weirdest internet rabbit hole besides people's phone numbers that are famous oh, <laughs> that's actually good well played um that would probably be uh uh youtubing and like going down the rabbit hole of like the furthest places on earth like the most remote places oh, on earth that's yeah. a good one i've gone down like this place exists 78 miles Away, it takes four years for a boat to get here. They get one shipment of groceries once every two years. Is like, that the real estate part of you? Shit. And really, it's just it's. <laughs> they made a they made a video about Queens, New York. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lakewood, New Jersey. Yeah. Is, Bro, uh, I'll tell you one thing: Jews know how to get food quick. Okay, there's yeah. no one grocery store every two year two years. Ew, that's hilarious. That right there's now. a couple islands right now that are like legit out there. Yeah, of course, there's more than a couple. There's like or space, bro. I was talking with someone the other day about like what it would be like to die in space. Like because we're talking about the submarine business. Yeah. And like dying in space, how like if you're in an oxygen suit and you get like cut from the space thing. So So like interstellar in real life. Yeah, you're just like floating around in space, but you're alive. Like like you're just gone in the ether. You're just it takes like a long, painful time to die. If you were dying in space, okay, small amount of solace while you're dying is like I'm dying in fucking space. I don't think it's all. I think it's cool. No, it's, but it's pretty cool. But you can't control anywhere you're going. Correct. You just drift into well, the, the galaxy. I'm just saying, if you're on the toilet and you concept. feel the hemorrhage coming on, like, you're space like, no, not concept. here. But yeah. if you're like, in the, surrounded in the majesty of space and you're one of the, what, a thousand people in history who have been there and then you're like, I'm dying? Like, you're dying a legend. Like, you're in space. Space is a crazy concept. Can you imagine you just had to take a monster shit while you were about to die in space? You're like, floating in the middle of nowhere? It's like, I need a bathroom. Fuck it. Just right there. You could. Just right there. Just when the aliens like... find me a thousand years from now. They're gonna what was that? It. When the aliens find me a thousand years from now. Do we believe in aliens? Or... I, I, I believe that. The, I actually do believe in aliens. I think it's probable that they're aliens, but everyone wants them to be like humanoid aliens that are like green and people like. They're probably more like lizards or Bacteria something. Bacteria or something? No, I think I think they're... No, I believe in, like, complicated. I do. I think... I Again, I think, like, logically, it's very probable that there's, like, complicated life out there. More than a bacteria. Like, an animal or something. But the the, the idea that they have, like, spaceships? No. Like, it's not smart. <laughs> right, But right. it's out there. There's some scaly thing that's out there. Why I would sc- agree. Why scaly? Space. <laughs> yeah, aliens. I can't yeah. explain that other than space. Like, it's not like, you know, like, The idea that there's something furry out there? No, I can't. It doesn't work. Not, but what about, like, uh, like those big, like, rock fi- like figure things? Like an onyx. Like, from Pokemon. Did you just reference Pokemon? I remember the Pokemon. Who are yeah. you, I just remember from when I was playing as little kids, and, like, onyx was that long snake. Would it be a letdown if, like, we finally found outdoor, outdoor, out, out there space, like, life, and it's, it's cute? Because I like cute things, but, like, I don't want it to be cuddly. You it's want like it to be monstrous. I prefer it be cuddly. Monstrous is like the sci-fi scary version right. of what they... We, I want to that's the worst case. Well, okay, before we go to... Imagine right. they're all Chia pets. What about UFOs? That's what we just said. I mean... No, you said aliens. I, I do follow... You said they don't think. He doesn't think they have spaceships. No, oh, yeah. it happens to be, though. Like, there's honestly, there's Rogan is, is, like, part of the reason why... I, he's, like... <laughs> The reason people are into UFOs because he's always. Did you see what he just showed a video of on his Instagram? By the way, following his Instagram is hilarious. He like posts something random as fuck every like two weeks. He posted a video of like uh, a bunch of mice being dropped into like a turd where a turd is. Did you see this? What? If you didn't see it, it's not funny. But but he's really into UFOs. He posted a video. Wow. Do you have Wi Fi? Yeah, of course I have Wi Fi. That I can connect to. Sorry, I wanted to text my mom back. <laughs> just That's a clip. Just trying to guilt you. That might be yeah. the first time anyone's ever said that in podcast history. Right. <laughs> I love that. I love that. No, that's amazing. Zach, look at this. Come here. Look at this. A turtle. 
You said turd a before. A toad. Oh. You said a turd. Yeah, he said, you said yeah. a turd, right? Yeah. A mice gets dropped in a bunch of turds. Yeah, a toad. Like, yeah. What's a turd? <laughs> I don't have enough time for this conversation. You don't know what a turd is? I thought it's the same thing as a as a uh, frog. <laughs> no, wait a second. Are you listening to this conversation right wait, now? Wait, wait, say it again. He thinks that a turd is the same thing as a frog. What do you mean? A toad. A turd. A toad. Big toad. frog. Toad. <laughs> What's a turd? A, 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 a T-U-R-D? No, 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 no. Do you want a turd? You've never heard of a turd? No, wait, wait, let's see if we can guess. We're going to give you... I already told, give, him. Yeah, yeah, told, just told him. Yeah, you just told him, I think. Damn it. I was going to give him three guesses of what a turd is. You've like, never heard turd? <laughs> I've heard of the name. That's why I thought a toad was a turd. I think it must be your accent. That's maybe that's what it is. That's, you can't script that. You can't script that. Script. Uh, <laughs> this has got to be the dumbest podcast of all time. I love that. Every episode, there's one moment where Shmoy will completely lose it. Can you explain to me for a second? Um. Why people are into horror movies? I need to understand this. I have long been fascinated. I mean, with are them. you into horror movies? Um, not really, but I mean, it's probably the same thing as like true crime. Maybe it's no. like art in general. It's like you kind of like uh, it lets you experience a natural emotion that you wouldn't want to really experience, but you get to experience it in a safe way. So like, uh, it's like a thrill. It's like skydiving. I just don't understand yeah. horror movies. No, I don't get that. No, it's a no. thrill. I it's hear, suspense, I, just, I understand skydiving. Skydiving makes Why sense. Why do you me. like the submarine story? <laughs> that actually, <laughs> would, I would never watch a movie of that. That would scare the living shit out of me. I would never watch a submarine movie story. Would scare you. Watch a documentary on it. A documentary, yes. A, a a horror movie about them all panting and dying of breath. I probably wouldn't watch. Well, that's fair. I do feel like that is the worst way to, like losing. Yeah, like suffocating to death. That's like the scariest way to die. Well, that that you're just aware of it for like. And you're like run out of hope, and for them, they might have realized two days ago, oh, we're gonna die right. in here, and we have we're gonna two days from now. Yeah. I also feel like so. The, what do they, they do? They just say their deepest, darkest secrets for two days. Do they just hump like bunnies for two days? Every well, it's day all men, day. and they're if they're not gay, I hope that they're not just deciding to unless they, you know. I hey, don't know. it's fucking Pride Month. Like, let them. Let no, them I mean, if, if you want. want to, go ahead. But I'm just saying, don't be like. Oh. I don't think they're fucking. If they are uh, straight, I'll just be honest. I have. A I, I agree. I think. Do we that's, think that there's like probably not? Do you think science has found all of the things, living things that are in the bottom of the ocean? Because one, my like non scientific take is that. We don't know a quarter of the shit that's down there. Oh, yeah. Because there's, there's, it goes really far down, and like we don't go down. <laughs> that's such a lame way of saying it. By the way, it goes really far down. Yeah. All you think? <laughs> no, I, I don't think. I, I think we don't know half of what's down there. Sure. And there's like some probably crazy, scary stuff. This is like some Neil deGrasse Tyson shit right here. <laughs> I wonder we'll, the, yeah. We'll probably have him on one time, but Although I, I heard on one of the, the labels. He's labels. pro vaccines, right? That guy? <laughs> I love okay. That's the one thing him. that he gets. I saw it. a whole thing from him out. <laughs> he's like, the, he, he's like the number one astro, Some bullshit. You're anti vaccine? Like, the COVID vaccine? vaccines, specifically, I'm talking about. You didn't? There was a whole argument between him and. I was it Rogan? I forgot who it no, was. No, but he's someone. like, he's like the number one like astrophysicist like, dude in the world, whatever. And he's like, the one thing he thinks, like, he's pro vaccines, right? Well, is no, Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, number one? I don't know. He's just like celebrity astrophysicist. Celebrity yeah. astrophysicist. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like Bill Nye of astrophysicists. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, label, yeah. you got it wrong. He's not pro vaccine, he's pro autism. And it's pro autism. That's not what I said. Also, astrophys he he's not vaccine adjacent. I feel like you gotta go medical doctor. Who's the most who's a celebrity medical Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz. What is Dr. Oz's deal? Is he legit? I don't know. Yeah. Dude, he's an actor. The dude's not a doctor. No, he is no? a doctor. Nope. He's a Yale actor. No, I'm lying. No, he's, oh, he's my, not, I believed no. it for like I two believe seconds. Because it's I, believable. No, yeah. but, it's not, but I know he's an actual doctor. Well, Dr. Phil is not a doctor, I'm pretty no, sure. No, he's not. He's a psych... Yeah, he's, he's a, a psychologist. psychologist. I think so. But psychologists are doctors, if it's Yeah, but I, maybe he has a doctorate, but he's right. not a doc... But he's not a doctor in the sense of, like, medical doctor. I think he's not an MD. MD. He's not, like, a... Uh, like a no, but uh, he's not like Stanley. Psychologist do get... Well, my dad's not... Were you able to text your mom on Time out, yeah. Yeah, oh, I lied. I just wanted the Wi-Fi. Can you tell me what, what you said? You're doing a bit on your mom. No, I was texting somebody though, yeah. but it was not my mom. 
Okay. You guys look like hurt by that. I no, like, I just don't know. <laughs> you're not hurt. I don't know you're shooting your shot. I'm just trying to understand why you wouldn't just say, "Hey, by the way." Because I thought it would be funny, and I thought you would know it was a lie. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, well, I missed it. You lied well. Keep on doing that shit. Um, hold on, Doctor oh. Phil. Now I'm curious. Is he a doctor? Is, wait, is Doctor Phil a doctor? <laughs> I love what you can put into Google. By the way, you know what? you can just write, you can write out an entire paragraph. Of course, Doctor Phil feet pics. <laughs> Clinical psychology is a doctorate, so he is a doctor. It's a doctorate. He has a doctorate, but, he, he's but not. you get the title doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But he, psychology, I mean, that's close enough for me to. She was bad baby, right? That was that chick that went on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cash me outside. Ca people seem to really outside. not like him, but I don't. I don't. I just not. I don't. Do you know why people don't like him, Doctor Phil? Uh, yeah, really I mean, don't he, like he's him. definitely been a dick to certain guests, or like really like. He's like judgmental. Yeah, or just like yeah. They're, He's not like he's a celebrity for first and foremost. Maybe at first it started out like let me give good advice, but he right. he's given shit advice and been a dick to people on Damn, shows. We, really, we just can't let a bald man win. I'm just trying to understand. He's a mustache elitist. I'm just trying to understand. There's ever someone that's going to be <laughs> famous like that that people won't have an opinion on. Like I feel like no matter who you are, if you're at that level of fame, you're always gonna have just fifty percent of the world. And like, well, oh, you're a dick. That's well, not a reason though to therefore. I mean, I don't know. Some people do do things that are worth it. Show me a jack. Actually, maybe he's actually not a dick. Show me a Jack Black hater. You can't. Facts. Also, Facts. the difference between I mean, Doctor Phil is giving. Right, so I was gonna say if I knew who that was, no I'd clue who Jack Black. Is. You don't That's know who Jack really Black sad. is. You know who Jack Black. No, he is. doesn't. Of course I know Jack Black. Oh. He has no... No, I'm telling you, he has no... Um, We're not playing with you right now. Well, the difference between... Like, <laughs> there's a difference between being Jack Black, solely an entertainer, and being Dr. Phil, an entertainer who gives people life advice and, like, for unreal He's not Matt shit. Damon. What? He's not Matt Damon or Brad Pitt. It's like his whole job, well, like you're saying, is to give advice. Yeah, he's, like, a few steps removed from a politician where he's, like, affecting society in one way or another. Maybe not... To such an extent, but like, but there are plenty of fifteen-year-olds out there that have had tough lives that don't know if they're going to get back on track because they went on to Doctor Phil. Yeah, I feel like yeah, he's <laughs> he's exploited people, re, people's real problems for the sake of his show. I think. Yes, yeah. that's for sure. And well, I haven't so watched I mean, a lot of Doctor Phil. I'm not. I'm not saying I know nothing about him. him. I'm not even arguing with you because I literally know nothing about him other than there was a from person years ago in Cash. Uh, bad baby that went on the, the show. Outside, I feel like yeah. he's just Judge Judy of psychologists. Yes. Yeah, yeah for sure. But Judge but Judy like can do knows no that Judge Judy is like a joke. Easy, easy. <laughs> just like <laughs> hey. an offended. Dude, don't fucking talk about Judy that way. No. <laughs> no, no I mean, but you're right. Like it, It's like, it's just like a real, it's like there's therapy, there's court, and then there's a televised version of those two things. Like, that, that, I, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, we um, wrap up. Yeah, I think it's late. It is late. It is late. Um, what like time is it? Ten Hello, five. Sean. I want to say thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Of oh, thanks course. for coming. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get in anywhere, so I had to just make my own. What does it say? I, that's what she said. Nice. Yeah, he's. Thanks for coming on. He's, he's an exactly anchor. me. If you had that. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Um, all right, Sean, thank you so much. <laughs> Honestly, every time you hit that and then you like look back and smile, it's like I've worked with special needs kids before. I'm just like, yeah, thank you. you did. Thank you. How thank long you. has this been? How long have we been recording? Those two hours. It's a long time. Damn, that's pretty good. Right. Yeah. Content machine. Hell yeah. Get guys, me out of here. Yeah, Sean, thank you so much, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, appreciate it. Give a like and subscribe. Um, yeah, where, where can we find you? Yeah, uh, oh yeah, huge plug. Sorry, I yeah, apologize. no, that's okay. Sean Malay, S E A N M I L L E A, and uh, yeah, uh, Instagram. Sean we can throw his Instagram on the YouTube videos. Yeah, whatever. What was that? First of all, we, we can collab up, on Instagram. Yeah, I might not collab, but I'll share the story, put it on my YouTube, all that stuff. But the collab Instagram, I don't really post on all the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Are you All right. Oh, okay. You guys look offended. We're just gonna stab no. I know the Trumps did it, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, I'm weird. Instagram's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. 
You're like, you know what? We're deleting the pod now. We're not posting it. We'll figure it out. Not yeah, worry. Invite me, and I'll see you. I'll see, I might accept. We'll figure it out. He, we're yeah, gonna we'll force see. it outside of Crunch on 38. Yeah, yeah. Collab, collab. <laughs> they was gonna actually get the Crunch you go to shut down. <laughs> like, yeah. Can you look up my phone number? Can you? I want to see if you could find it. I'll try to do that right now. Hold That's just a like pure ego trip for you. you I'm, I'm curious if I'm in the I database. Honestly, I'm not tried. Hang on tight. Hang on tight. And then we'll end it. Sean Malia finds out he is not important enough yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm not in the friggin how do i s-e-a-n m-i-l-l-i-a m-i-l-l-e-a e-a dude just to give you your flowers E-A. like and you, where did you grow up oh he's... brick he... new jersey new jersey <laughs> yeah you're cruising at like one hundred fifteen thousand followers and it's all self-made i have you you're you 26 have years old out. lives in brick new content. jersey it's fucking impressive thanks yeah, it's good shit. We'll keep he's like i have you oh, 26 do you, are you doing 26? shoes are you playing shows uh, nothing to promote. Well, actually, yeah, but uh, when does this release? We're not sure yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you playing show between the next one to seven weeks? Uh, nah, it's cool. Just follow me on Instagram. DM me and say, uh, do you play at any of the like smaller uh, ladies? Like, he has yet to get. I think I have a number. Nah, I think nah. I have a number. Do you want me to text you on it to see if it goes through? What do you, you want? You point me at. Not doing that. Why? You don't want I me can't to... show it to you. You can't show me the app? Correct. No, correct. Really? I promise. I've that never seen be this shady. No, yeah. I'm... This is for a sure an illegal app. app. Can for can sure. So I'm going to do that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. This is Tell me the last app. number. Two nine. All right. Yeah, that's it. Hey! <laughs> Boom! Gone. Easy as that. Label, how um, how much money are you paying the mafia for this service? Guys, I love you all dearly. Um... <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. See you next week. Sean, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Love you all. See you next week.